Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, City. My Baba is a Farmer. Chapter 1. My dear, let's go to sleep, okay. Lu Ching put the baby girl on the bed gently, then reached out and pulled the air conditioner over and gently covered her. Lu Ching's daughter Lu Xin, who just turned three years old this year, speaks in a milky voice, but just after taking a shower and drying her hair, the little guy is jumping up and down at the moment, and he is not sleepy at all. I saw the little guy kick the quilt away with his fleshy calves, stared at his big watery eyes, and said in a milky voice, Baba, I can't sleep in my heart. But if you don't sleep now, if you can't get up tomorrow, what will you do if you're late for school? Lu Ching pretended to be serious. Then, Lu Ching guided. Didn't your teacher say, good baby, good students should go to bed early and get up early to develop good work and rest habits? Yeah, Mr. Tutu seems to have said that a good baby should go to bed early and get up early. Three-year-old Lu Xin, listening to her father's words, suddenly remembered what her teacher said, and immediately pulled the quilt away come and cover yourself. Then close your eyes and go to sleep. On the side, Lu Qing nodded with satisfaction. It's only a three-year-old child, how can it be so easy to coax him to fall asleep? only to see Lu Xin closing his eyes, the two eyelids are still shaking slightly, obviously he doesn't want to sleep yet. Okay, okay, Baba won't force you to sleep anymore, don't pretend to be asleep. Lu Qing, who was sitting beside the bed, couldn't help laughing at the cute appearance of Bao'er's daughter pretending to be asleep, and quickly persuaded. Really, hearing this, Lu Xin, who was not sleepy at all, suddenly opened his bright eyes and said in disbelief. Of course it's true. Lu Qing fondly touched Lu Xin's little head. Baba, I really want to eat watermelon. Suddenly, three-year-old Lu Xin said in a low voice. Watermelon, ha. Huh. Lu Qing was stunned when he heard this, then returned to his senses and asked, why does Xin suddenly want to eat watermelon? Because Wang Li's family next door bought a big watermelon today. Lu Xin explained slowly, and then stretched out his tender little hand to draw the size of the watermelon in the air. Wang Le and Lu Xin are about the same age and are one of Lu Xin's few friends in the same community. They live in building 3 next door. Also, Baba, it's been a long time since you bought fruit to go home. At the end, Lu Xin's tender voice seemed very low. Be kind, Baba will buy you a watermelon tomorrow. Lu Qing looked at her baby daughter's depressed expression and felt very heartbroken, so she quickly comforted her. Because Lu Qing just thought about it carefully, and found that he has not bought any fruit for nearly two months to go home, and he is a bit dereliction of duty. Really, hearing this, Lu Xin, who was originally in a low mood, suddenly lit up and looked at Lu Qing with expectation on his face. Of course it's true, how could Baba lie? Lu Qing nodded affirmatively. Not only that, Baba also bought a watermelon that was bigger than what Wang Le and his family bought. Saying that, Lu Qing drew an ellipse several times larger than what Lu Xin drew just now. Yeah, Baba is so good. After Lu Qing finished speaking, Lu Xin, who was smiling all over his face, hung on Lu Qing like a monkey and cheered. Okay, okay. Lu Qing quickly put down the baby girl hanging on her body, put it on the bed, took the quilt to cover her and said, Nah, let's go to sleep, okay. Well, good. Lu Xin, who got Baba's promise, closed his eyes with satisfaction and said, Baba, good night. Good night. Turning off the lights, Lu Qing exited her daughter's room. When I came to my room, it was actually the living room. After all, as my daughter grew up, she should have her own space. Therefore, when Lu Xin was two years old, Lu Qing gritted her teeth and changed to a small room with one set. He was on the sofa in the living room. However, Lu Qing, who came to the living room, did not rest, but quickly changed into a yellow t-shirt with the Machuan Takeaway advertisement logo printed on the front and back. After all, there are old people on the top and young ones on the bottom, and they need to support themselves. After putting her baby daughter to sleep every night, Lu Qing continues to start delivering food. Putting on the safety helmet and wearing everything, Lu Qing closed the door and went downstairs, came to the parking shed, got on the motorcycle, then took out his mobile phone and opened the Machuan takeaway order delivery software. It is now 9 o'clock in the evening. As the magic capital of the Oriental International Metropolis, the nightlife has just begun. The streets are flashing with neon lights and feasting. It is summer, and it is also the peak season for takeaway orders. 
No, just one minute after opening the software, Lu Qing received five or six food delivery orders in a row. After receiving the order, Lu Qing hurriedly started the motorcycle and started the busy delivery work. Picking up orders and delivering orders, Lu Qing is like a hard-working little bee, traversing the streets and alleys of the magic capital, and the t-shirt on her body has never been dry after being wet with sweat. Hey, hey, little brother, do you want antiques? Good things, cheap ones for you. On the side of the road, Lu Qing, who was about to leave by bicycle just after delivery, was suddenly pulled by a middle-aged man with a pointed mouth. Lu Qing turned around and saw that he was being held by a middle-aged man in his forties who was somewhat bald, with a sallow face and a thin body. In the magic capital, Lu Qing has encountered many times such hawkers who claim to have antiques to sell. Knowing that the so-called antiques they sell are either fakes or high imitations, she politely shook her head and refused. Thank you. Brother, I'm still at work, I'm not free now, and I don't have the money to buy it. Hey, don't rush to leave, little brother. The middle-aged man saw that Lu Qing wanted to leave, and hurriedly said, you haven't seen it yet, I promise you will definitely buy it when you see it. While talking, the middle-aged man hurriedly showed the so-called antiques to Lu Qing. Um, under the entanglement, Lu Qing, who had planned to pretend to deal with the middle-aged man, was immediately attracted by the antique handed over to him. This is a jade pendant in the shape of a pepper, white and cyan, the size of a thumb, with some exquisite carvings of dragons flying and phoenix dancing on it, and Lu Qing was attracted simply because he thought this jade pendant was beautiful. After taking a look, Lu Qing said calmly, Brother, how much is your jade pendant? Hey hey, seeing Lu Qing's interest, the thin middle-aged man smiled and said with a big yellow tooth, Little brother, let me tell you, this is a real antique, if you like it, 800 yuan, I will give it to you today at a cheap price. Quote. Although Lu Qing doesn't understand antiques, he also knows that if they are really antiques, they will not sell them to passers-by on the street. So Lu Qing simply counter-offered, 50 yuan, big brother, do you sell it? What? 50 yuan? The skinny middle-aged man jumped high when he heard Lu Qing's offer. I said, little brother, you've cut the price too hard, jumping off the building and selling it like this is not the way to sell it. Yes. It doesn't matter if you don't sell it. Lu Qing said, then turned around and got on the bike, ready to leave. Hey, why are you in such a hurry, you little brother, if you add more, I'll sell you for 200 or 200. Hee <laughs> hee, 100 or 100 is fine. Seeing Lu Qing really wants to leave, a thin middle-aged the man hurriedly shouted, 50. 50. I sold you, don't go. In the end, Lu Qing spent 50 yuan to buy the antique jade pendant in the hands of a middle-aged man. After getting the jade pendant, Lu Qing simply played with it, put it in his pocket, and continued to deliver food on his motorcycle. But at this moment, there was a sudden thunder in the sky, Lu Qing couldn't help but change his face and screamed. Not good. Lu Qing is just a hard worker who went to the south of the magic city alone after graduating from high school. Under the instigation of a colleague, he went to a bar to drink with them. After getting drunk, he had with a strange woman. The current baby girl Lu Xin. As for the woman, Lu Qing can't remember, only that she gave her daughter, who was only two months old at the time, to her, then turned and left, completely disappearing into the crowd. Colleagues who worked together at that time were afraid that the honest Lu Qing would become a pickup man, helping others raise their daughter, and persuaded him to do a paternity test. After the report came out later, it was indeed his own bloodline, and Lu Qing took up the responsibility of the nanny. It can be said that the baby girl Lu Xin was really brought up by Lu Qing with a lot of feces and urine, so Lu Qing regarded her as a treasure, for fear of bumping into her. Bang! After the thunder, a bolt of lightning fell from the sky and instantly illuminated the earth. Lu Qing's face became even more anxious and worried, because the baby girl was afraid of thunder and lightning. When there is a thunderstorm, the baby girl Lu Xin will cry in fear, so Lu Qing is afraid that she will have an accident at home alone. Thinking of this, Lu Qing hurried home on a motorcycle. Ten minutes later, Lu Qing, who was riding a motorcycle, rushed back to the rental community and parked the car. Lu Qing hurried upstairs and opened the door. Click. As soon as the door was opened, the room was dark, and a petite figure rushed over and hugged Lu Qing's calf tightly. This is not who Lu Qing's daughter is. Baba, I'm afraid. 
Lu Xin's tender voice said timidly. Don't be afraid, dad is here. Lu Qing quickly comforted her, and the stone that was hanging in her heart finally fell to the ground, because her daughter was fine. Then, Lu Qing turned on the lights in the room, then bent down and hugged Lu Xin, who was clinging to his calf, and put it on his chest, comforting, Okay, Shinxin, isn't dad back, don't be afraid. Yeah, seeing his father Lu Qing coming back, three-year-old Lu Xin felt much more at ease and nodded. Xin Xin, you're so good. Lu Qing praised with a smile. At this time, the thunder and lightning outside the house gradually weakened, and the drifting rain began to crackle. Lu Qing held her daughter Lu Xin in one hand and took out her phone to check the time with the other. She found that it was almost 11 o'clock in the evening. Lu Qing said, Xin Xin, shall we go to sleep? No, three-year-old Lu Xin shook his head, still a little scared. My heart is good, have you heard the thunder outside? We don't have to be afraid, you are a big girl, be brave. Lu Qing encouraged patiently. After speaking, Lu Qing carried Lu Xin to the room where she slept, put it on the bed, and said, Okay, my heart is good, let's continue to sleep. Baba, I'm still afraid. Lu Xin said with some crying. Seeing that her daughter's tears were about to fall out, Lu Qing quickly said, Don't cry in your heart, Baba isn't here, what's there to be afraid of? Why don't Baba tell you a story while you're sleeping? Seeing that her daughter really didn't want to sleep, Lu Qing directly came up with his own unique trick. Sure enough, Lu Xin's face was still slightly crying, but when she heard Baba telling her a story, her eyes lit up and she became very happy. Okay, Shinxin hasn't told a story for a few days, Baba, hurry up and say. Baba, say it quickly. For Lu Qing, who is both a father and a mother, the Grimm's fairy tales, the compendium of children's stories, etc., are basically memorized and recited by heart. As for why, you know when you become a parent yourself. Well, that's good. Seeing the interest of the baby girl, Lu Qing cleared her throat and said, Then Baba will tell you a story about Grandma Wolf and Little Red Riding Hood today. Baba, you've told this story many times, but you don't want to hear it. Three-year-old Lu Xin quickly refused because she was tired of hearing this story. Really, Lu Qing smiled awkwardly, touched his head, and said, Okay, then Baba will tell you a story you've never heard of today. Well, good, Lu Xin nodded. Then Baba will tell you a story about Cinderella today. Lu Qing thought about it and said. Seeing that the daughter on the side had no objection and looked expectant, Lu Qing continued. A long, long time ago, there was a very beautiful girl, and she had a vicious stepmother and two sisters with bad hearts. Quote. She was often bullied by her stepmother and two older sisters, forced to do heavy work, and her body was often covered in dust, so she was nicknamed, Cinderella. Quote dot 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 quote. Lu Qing spoke in such an eloquent way, while Lu Xin listened quietly. It's just that before Lu Qing's story was finished, Lu Xin put her head on his thigh and fell asleep. After watching her daughter fall asleep, Lu Qing gently placed her head on the pillow and covered the quilt. Immediately after turning off the lights, Lu Qing gently left her daughter's room. Call, after coaxing her daughter to sleep, Lu Qing, who came to the living room, finally breathed a sigh of relief. After a busy day, exhausted and smelled of sweat, Lu Qing walked to the bathroom, ready to take a shower and go to bed. After a few minutes, I can finally sleep, I'm so tired today. After taking a shower, Lu Qing came to the sofa, stretched out his muscles and bones, then turned off the light, and fell heavily onto the sofa, ready to sleep. Hey, Lu Qing in the dark not only didn't feel the softness of the sofa, but felt that something had pierced his arm violently, causing him to take a deep breath. Lu Qing quickly got up and turned on the light. Under the light, Lu Qing found that a small eye had been pricked on his left arm, and it was bleeding non-stop. Lu Qing hurriedly took a few pieces of toilet paper to stop the bleeding, and then found a wound and put it on the wound, superior. After the arm wound was stopped, Lu Qing looked at the sofa and found that the murderer who stabbed him was the antique jade pendant in the shape of a pepper that he had just bought. It turned out to be your thing. Lu Qing then bent over to pick it up and put it in his hand, only to see a trace of blood on the tip of the jade pendant. After Lu Qing bought the antique jade pendant, he hadn't checked it carefully. Just when Lu Qing was about to examine it carefully, a strange scene happened. 
he saw a trace of fresh blood on the surface of the jade pendant, like a whale absorbing water. It absorbed it, and then the jade pendant burst into a dazzling white light. All this happened too fast, Lu Qing, who was holding the antique jade pendant, only felt that he was enveloped by the white light that burst out in an instant, and then he appeared in an unfamiliar place as soon as his eyes darkened. Lu Qing looked at the black soil under his feet, and then looked at the gray clouds above his head, and said dumbly. This is where, this, this is a space. Lu Qing calmed down and looked around vigilantly, only to realize that he was in a space. And Lu Qing's position at this time happens to be at the center of the space, and everything in the space is unobstructed. Looking around, Lu Qing found that the space was about five acres in size, and it was irregularly circular. It was full of bare black land, and there was a layer of gray clouds above and around the head. In addition, Lu Qing also found a clear spring not far in front of him, and the spring water was gushing out continuously, forming a pool of four to five minutes in size. Around the pool are several ditches formed by the scouring of the pool over many years after the pool is full of water and then scattered. Other than that, there is nothing in the space. What the hell is going on here? After a brief inspection, Lu Cheng, who retracted his gaze, was somewhat puzzled. Why did I come here all of a sudden? Could it be because of that jade pendant? Lu Cheng recalled the strange scene just now. It brought me here. Could this be the hidden mustard seed space in the jade pendant? It's too incredible, Lu Cheng exclaimed. But, how should I get out? Immediately afterwards, Lu Qing suddenly thought of a very important question. He came in by himself, but what if he couldn't get out? If I can't get out, am I going to be trapped here? Thinking of this, Lu Qing panicked. After all, her precious daughter is only three years old, and she still has parents and other relatives at home. Lu Qing doesn't want her daughter to lose her father, and the white-haired parents at home send black-haired people. Lu Qing then shouted loudly, Hey, is there anyone? Let me out, hello. It's a pity that Lu Qing's mouth was dry and his throat was almost hoarse. The space was still silent, and he didn't get any response at all. No way, I can't shout anymore. After a few minutes, Lu Qing, whose throat was about to burst, slumped on the ground, panting heavily. I'm so thirsty, I don't know if this water can be drunk. Lu Qing, who was sitting on the ground, looked at the crystal clear water in front of him and swallowed. Drink. After hesitating for a few seconds, Lu Qing, who was really thirsty, didn't care, and immediately got up and came to the side of the pool, bent down and took a handful of water and poured it into his mouth. The water in the pool is cool, and the mouth is sweet and refreshing. After drinking it, Lu Qing's body, which was exhausted, suddenly became more energetic and full of vitality. This, this, this is too amazing. Feeling the strangeness of his body, Lu Qing widened his eyes and exclaimed as he looked at the crystal clear water in front of him. But what should I do to get out? After drinking the water, Lu Qing regained his energy and began to think about how to leave this space. Leave here, all Lu Qing thought about was to leave this space. At this moment, Lu Qing only felt that his eyes suddenly darkened and brightened, and then he returned to the room where he had just disappeared. Ha, huh, I'm back. Lu Qing breathed a sigh of relief when he saw the familiar rental house in front of him. Immediately, Lu Qing blinked and thought back, as if he suddenly understood something. Come in, Lu Qing's mind moved and entered the space. Then his mind moved, and he returned to the rental house. Ha ha, I didn't expect to get such a magical baby today. After going in and out several times in a row, Lu Qing finally mastered the method of entering and exiting the space, smiling all over his face. As for the jade pendant, Lu Qing felt that it was in his body, and he could call it out at any time if needed, but Lu Qing felt that it was best to wait for it to stay in his body. After all, he had obtained such a miraculous treasure. It's not safe anywhere. But how to use it? Lu Qing didn't think about it for a while, and shook his head, Lu Qing turned off the lights and went to sleep. The next day, it was just dawn. Lu Qing, who slept until she woke up naturally, slowly opened her eyes and woke up. Well, I slept so comfortably last night, so full. Sitting up, Lu Qing sighed, then picked up the phone beside him and checked the time, it was only early six o'clock. Then Lu Qing got up and got dressed, but after getting dressed, Lu Qing didn't go to wash up immediately, but moved into the space with a thought. Haha, it's still there. 
Looking at the dark ground beneath his feet and the clear pool of water in front of him, Lu Qing knew that all this was not a dream, and that he had indeed obtained a magical space. Just like a lord patrolling his territory, Lu Qing looked around in the space before exiting contentedly. Then Lu Qing went to the bathroom to brush his teeth and wash his face. After finishing, he went to the kitchen to make breakfast. As for the precious daughter Lu Xin, Lu Qing just looked at it, and the little guy is still sleeping soundly. After all, it is only early six in the morning. Lu Qing plans to make breakfast and wake her up. Scooping a bowl of white rice, Lu Qing washed it with water, put it in the rice cooker, then took out a piece of bacon from the refrigerator, cut some lean meat from the top, chopped it, poured it into the rice cooker, and stirred together after a while, pour in the right amount of water and start to boil. Lu Qing cooked lean meat porridge, and the water was also raised from the space pool. At about seven o'clock, when the porridge was cooked, Lu Qing ran downstairs and went to the steamed bun shop outside the community to buy a basket of Shaolong Bao, and then fried two eggs. Ha, huh, it's done. Looking at the breakfast on the table, Lu Qing seemed very satisfied. Afterwards, Lu Qing came to the baby daughter Lu Xin's room and asked her to get up to eat. After spending ten minutes, getting dressed and washing, Lu Xin sat at the dining table and had breakfast. Wow, Baba, the lean meat porridge you cooked today is delicious. Lu Xin took a mouthful of the porridge in the bowl in front of him, and his eyes lit up in admiration. Hey, that's because your dad's cooking skills are getting better and better. Lu Qing, who was on the side, heard her daughter's compliments, and said with a full smile, although he knew that this was actually mainly due to the pool of water in the space. Don't patronize lean meat porridge, come on, baby girl, have a fried egg. Well, thanks dad. During a breakfast, Lu Qing and his daughter ate comfortably and happily. After breakfast, Lu Qing sent Lu Xin to the kindergarten. The kindergarten was not far from the rental house where he lived, and he walked across a few streets. Kindergarten Gate Lu Qing crouched down, tidied up Lu Xin's clothes, and exhorted, Okay, Xinxin, be obedient in the kindergarten, listen to the teacher, and dad will pick you up after school in the afternoon. Well, I will be obedient. Lu Xin nodded and reminded, Dad, remember to buy watermelon today. Don't worry, Xinxin, dad will buy you a big watermelon today. Lu Qing replied with a smile. Then Lu Qing stood up and said to Lu Xin's teacher, Excuse me, Mr. Tutu, Lu Xin will leave it to you. Don't worry, Dad Lu Xin, we will take good care of the child. Teacher Tutu responded with a smile. Um, goodbye, Dad, goodbye with heart. Watching her daughter walk into the kindergarten and play happily with other children, Lu Qing turned around and left to start a new day's work. Four Seas Street this is a famous restaurant street in Modu. Food from all over the world can be found on this street, hence the name. This street is also the base of Lu Qing's group of takeaway riders. Before 10 o'clock in the morning, if there are not many orders to be delivered, everyone will stay here and wait for the arrival of the peak order period at noon. Tree Roots After sending her daughter to school, Lu Qing rode a motorcycle, parked beside a small electric donkey, and greeted the young man sitting on it, bowing his head and playing with his mobile phone. Hey, brother Lu, you're here. Li Shugen raised his head when he heard someone calling him, and responded to Lu Qing with a smile on his face. Yeah, Lu Qing nodded, then looked around, and asked with some doubts, Brother Zhao, Brother Yang, and Monkey, why haven't I seen them, did they all go to deliver the orders? Quote, to know this area, there are nearly ten people in Lu Qing and his team. Usually, everyone will gather here when they are not busy, but today, except for him and the tree root, everyone else is not there, which makes Lu Qing feel a little strange. Hey, what are you sending, Brother Lu? Li Shugen sighed and explained, Brother Zhao, Brother Yang, Monkey and the others have all resigned today. What? Resign? When Lu Qing heard this, her face was startled. You must know that everyone was fine yesterday, why did a group of people suddenly resign today? Brother Lu, didn't you read the news in the work group last night? What have you been doing? Li Shugen asked Lu Qing with a confused look on his face. Then Li Shugen explained slowly, Brother Zhao, Brother Yang, Monkey and the rest of the group have resigned. It's not because after the salary was paid in the middle of this month, the salary began to adjust. Not only did the bonus disappear, but the commission for each order also dropped. 
so everyone felt that they couldn't do it any longer, and they all resigned. What? Our wages are going to drop. Lu Qing's face changed greatly after listening to Xu Gen's explanation. Hey, this notice was sent to our work group by the station master last night, so everyone should be prepared. Li Shugen said, Brother Lu, you'll know when you read it. As for the station master, it is similar to the store manager of the store. After listening to Lu Qing, he quickly took out his mobile phone, clicked on the work group, flipped through the historical news, and saw the notification message sent by the webmaster last night. Taking a closer look, sure enough, not only did the monthly bonus disappear, but the commission for each order was also reduced a lot. Although Lu Qing graduated from high school, he is still good at mathematics. After a simple calculation, he runs 1200-1500 orders per month, and if he runs more than 800 orders, each order is commissioned from 7 to 8 yuan, the basic salary is 2000, and the reward is 500, 11,000 or 2 income per month. After the salary adjustment, more than 800 orders are 6 yuan commission, and the bonus 500 is gone, which is equivalent to a full monthly income of 2000. After a simple calculation, Lu Qing finally knew why everyone resigned. After all, there were 1 or 2000 less a month. So, brother Lu, will you resign? Li Shugen looked at Lu Qing and asked, What job do you want to quit? Do it first. Lu Qing replied, isn't it more than a week before the salary will be paid, so let's talk about it first. Because Lu Qing also thought about it just now, but still decided to work the full month first. After all, the biggest advantage of this job is the high degree of freedom, which is convenient for Lu Qing to take care of her daughter and work hard. If you are not afraid of hard work, the salary can also be earned. It's you, Tree Root, why don't you go with them? Lu Qing asked rhetorically. Brother Lu, it's not like you don't know, I'm stupid, I haven't graduated from primary school, and the threshold for other jobs is high. I changed, and I didn't do this kind of job, and now people are running away, maybe the company has a job. Wages won't be cut. Li Shugen explained with a naive smile. Hey, who said you were stupid, isn't that smart? Lu Qing praised Li Shugen after listening to Li Shugen's explanation. Okay, Root, don't talk anymore, we're going to get busy. Lu Qing looked at the time and said. Yeah, Li Shugen nodded. Then Lu Qing and Li Shugen started taking orders and got busy. Dot dot. There was thunder and heavy rain last night, and today the sun is as bright as ever, and it is extremely hot. 2 in the afternoon. On the side of the road, under the big tree, a vendor dragged a cart of watermelons and was selling them hard. Watermelons, watermelons, the big watermelons produced at the foot of the flaming mountains in Tianjong, are not sweet and do not require money, don't miss them when you pass by. Lu Qing was just passing by after delivering the food. Hearing the street vendors chanting, he suddenly remembered that his daughter wanted to eat watermelon. Hey, boss, how much is a pound of your watermelon? Lu Qing asked, looking at the huge emerald green watermelons on the van in front of him. The owner of the watermelon stall was a middle-aged man in his thirties. When he saw the business, he was shocked, and he quickly introduced with a smile, Little brother, this watermelon of mine is transported from the flaming mountains of Tianjong a long way. Come here, Bao Tian, the price is 10 yuan per pound. 10 yuan, so expensive. Lu Qing was surprised when he heard it, when did watermelons sell for this price? Hey, little brother. The watermelon stall owner quickly explained. Didn't you just say, this one of mine is from Tianjong, and the taste is much better than the watermelon produced in other places. If you don't believe me, try it. Having said that, the watermelon stall owner hurriedly cut a piece of watermelon and handed it to Lu Qing. Well, it's really sweet and delicious. Lu Qing nodded after tasting it. Then Lu Qing changed the topic and said, but, boss, your watermelon is still a bit expensive. If you sell it for 8 yuan, I will buy a bigger one. Sell, sell, the watermelon stall owner replied quickly. I think you are sincere to buy it, little brother. If you sell it for 8 yuan, you should be a friend. Of course, Lu Qing also knows the reason. After all, in this big summer, at this point, everyone is hiding in the house and blowing the air conditioner. Who will come out to buy watermelons, so the watermelon stall owner can sell one and count as one. 56 Yuan, little brother, do you pay cash or mobile phone? WeChat Pay. In the end, 
Liu Qing picked a seven-pound watermelon, paid for it on WeChat, and then rode away. It just didn't ride very far. Liu Qing found a place where no one was there, stopped, and after a thought, he hurriedly put the watermelon he just bought into his carry-on space. After all, I have to continue to work in the afternoon, and it is not suitable to keep it in the takeaway box all the time. Liu Qing then continued to work. Dot dot. Seven o'clock in the evening. In the rental house. Soon after Liu Qing and his daughter had dinner, their daughter Liu Xin was clamoring for watermelon. Baba, where's the watermelon you bought? I want to eat watermelon. Liu Xin pestered Liu Qing and said coquettishly, Baba, I want to eat watermelon. Okay, you wait here, dad will get it for you. Liu Qing said. In desperation, Liu Qing hurriedly entered the kitchen, with a thought, and dodged into the space. However, after entering the space, Liu Qing was stunned by the scene in front of him, where did my watermelon go? I saw a piece of emerald green, long and leafy vines, and there were traces of watermelons there. Hey, I clearly remembered to put the watermelon here. Liu Qing clearly remembered that he put the watermelon he bought here in the afternoon, but when he came in at night, it disappeared. What the hell is this green vine plant in front of me? Where did it come from? There was nothing here before. Liu Qing looked at the green vines in front of him with confusion. It doesn't matter, let's talk about it first. Liu Qing hurriedly bent down and rummaged through the green vines, but after rummaging for a few minutes, he still couldn't find a watermelon. It's really weird, where did this watermelon go? You must know that apart from Liu Qing, no one else came in this space, or in other words, there are no other animals in this space. There are good watermelons. Although Liu Qing was full of doubts, after all, her precious daughter Liu Xin was still waiting outside. If she suddenly broke into the kitchen and found that her father had disappeared, it would be a big deal. Full of doubts, Liu Qing had to temporarily withdraw from the space. Dot dot. Baba, where's the watermelon you got? Watching Liu Qing walk out of the kitchen with bare hands, Liu Xin tilted his head and asked with some doubts. Hey, Xin, this, this watermelon, Baba's memory is wrong. In fact, the watermelon is in the takeaway box downstairs, and it hasn't been brought out yet. Looking at her baby girl Liu Xin's big watery eyes full of anticipation, Liu Qing knew that if the watermelon Baba bought you suddenly disappeared, the little girl would definitely be sad and disappointed, so Liu Qing had no choice but to think of an excuse, wait, Baba will go get it for you now. Then Liu Qing hurriedly opened the door and ran downstairs to get a watermelon for her daughter. In August, the midsummer season, watermelons are sold everywhere. After jogging all the way to the fruit shop outside the community, Liu Qing picked out a watermelon about the same size as the one bought in the afternoon, and quickly paid for it, then hurried back with the watermelon in hand. Dang dang, now, Baba brought you the watermelon and brought it back, Shinksen. Although he was too tired to breathe and sweaty, Liu Qing still lifted the watermelon with a smile and showed it to Liu Xin. Wow, what a big watermelon. Liu Xin looked at the big watermelon in Liu Qing's hand, ran over in surprise, and touched it. Then let's cut it up and eat it, okay. Liu Qing put the watermelon on the table and suggested. Okay, three-year-old Liu Xin was drooling at the big watermelon on the table, and his little head kept nodding. You little greedy cat. Liu Qing scratched Liu Xin's little nose lightly and said, to eat watermelon tonight, I even ate one less bowl of dinner. During the conversation, Liu Qing brought a kitchen knife from the kitchen, then cut the watermelon in half, put half aside, and cut the half into small pieces. After all, such a big watermelon could not be eaten in one night. Hey, here's a piece for you, Xinxin. After cutting the watermelon, Liu Qing picked up a piece and handed it to Liu Xindao, who had been greedy for a long time. Thank you dad. Liu Xin stretched out his fleshy little hand to take it, and then ate it with a big mouthful. Seeing that her daughter was having a good time eating, Liu Qing was also very happy, and then imitating her daughter's appearance, she picked up the watermelon and ate it. After a few minutes, Dad, my heart can't eat anymore. Liu Xin took a half-eaten piece of watermelon and asked Liu Qing for help. At this time, Liu Qing was no better than that. He ate two pieces of watermelon in a row, and he ate a lot of it for dinner. His stomach was bloated, and he said, Shinksen, Baba can't eat any more, let's eat it. Put the rest in the refrigerator and eat it tomorrow, okay. Okay, hearing Liu Qing's proposal, Liu Xin nodded in agreement. 
After eating the watermelon, it is impossible to go to sleep immediately. It has to be digested. Lu Ching checked that it was still early, it was only early 8 o'clock, so he could go for a walk outside. Thinking of this, Lu Ching said to Lu Xin, Xin Xin, let's go, let's go outside and play for a while, walk around. Go out to play. Lu Xin, who was full of food and looked lazy, heard the words to go out to play, as if he was instantly motivated, go, go, Baba, go out and play, go out to play. Let's go. Lu Ching opened the door. Let's go, let's go out to play. Lu Xin jumped downstairs. Hey, Xin, be careful, don't drop yourself. Lu Ching reminded from behind, then quickly closed the door and followed. Lu Ching's father and daughter did not return until 9 o'clock in the evening. In the bedroom, Lu Ching said to Lu Xin, who had already washed up and was lying on the bed, Okay, Xin, good night, go to sleep. Well, good night, Baba. Afterwards, Lu Ching turned off the lights and exited the room. After coming to the living room, Lu Ching didn't change into his work clothes and go out to deliver food as usual, but when his mind moved, the whole person disappeared instantly and entered the space. After all, the watermelon I bought disappeared suddenly, and now an inexplicable vine grows again. Lu Ching wanted to figure out what was going on. This thing has grown up. In the space, as soon as Lu Ching came in, he noticed the changes in the green vines in front of him, and exclaimed, but this is growing too fast. I saw that it was a slender vine just now, but now it has grown to the size of a thumb, and the originally small leaves have become the size of a palm. What kind of plant is this? Although Lu Ching was a native farmer, Lu Ching carefully checked the vine plant in front of him, but still could not identify what it was. I'm going, this thing is too stubborn, it can't be removed at all. Lu Ching tried to pull out the green vine in front of him with his hands, but even with all his strength, he couldn't shake a single point. Forget it, let it be long. If it could not be removed, Lu Ching had no choice but to give up the idea and let it grow freely. Lu Ching then continued to check, but after investigating for a while, Lu Ching still found nothing and finally left the space reluctantly. Dot dot. The next day, Lu Ching found that the vines in the space are still growing, and the branches and leaves are also growing larger and more lush. Day 3. I'm going, this thing actually bloomed. Early in the morning, as soon as he entered the space, Lu Ching discovered that the vines in the space were actually blooming with pale yellow flowers. Watermelon. Lu Ching looked around and found a fist-sized watermelon under some flowers. It turns out that this vine plant is actually a watermelon vine. Lu Ching, who came to understand, was shocked. No wonder, the watermelon suddenly disappeared after being put here, and then a green vine plant grew out inexplicably. Then Lu Ching understood everything. However, this is growing too fast. For this growth rate, Lu Ching was a little dumbfounded. It was too fast. After all, today is only the third day. In the end, Lu Ching can only attribute it to the magic of this space. After that, every once in a while, Lu Ching would enter the space to take a look and check the growth of the watermelon. Until the fourth day, inside the space, Lu Ching looked at the watermelon in front of him and felt a little worried. What should I do if there are too many watermelons? The ones that appeared in front of Lu Ching's eyes were green in color, like jade, and at least 40 to 50 kilograms of huge watermelons. Looking around, there are about three or four hundred watermelons in this acre of watermelon field. Hey, I can't finish eating. After all, there are only myself and my daughter here in the magic capital. Lu Ching thought, the landlord's aunt and uncle went out for summer vacation again, and they won't be back until September. Otherwise, they can give them a few. After all, they are reducing or exempting rent for themselves and arranging school for their daughter. Quote, it turned out that Lu Ching's landlord and his wife were pitiful when they saw him and his daughter wandering in the devil's capital alone, so they could not help feeling pity, so they specially reduced half of his rent every month. Not only that, the landlord couple also sent Lu Ching's daughter to a nearby kindergarten through their personal connections. After all, Lu Ching is just a hard worker. It doesn't matter if he has no money or power, how could he do it? So this kind of kindness, Lu Ching has always remembered it, and it has to be repaid. Forget it, don't think about it, let's wait until the watermelon in front of you is ripe. After thinking for a while, Lu Ching shook his head and quickly pulled his thoughts back. 
because the watermelon in front of me is not yet ripe. But it's too soon. Lu Qing looked at the huge watermelons in front of him and thought, I guess they will all be ripe tonight. Because Lu Qing did his homework and searched the internet, most watermelons take 100 to 120 days from germination to maturity, which is about 4 months. The speed of time in the space is 30 times that of the outside world, which means that 30 days have passed in the space, and only one day has passed in the outside world. This is what Lu Qing tested after seeing the incredible growth rate of watermelon and comparing the time of two mobile phones several times. When I got this result, I was startled by Lu Qing, and then Lu Qing turned from surprise to joy, it could even be said to be ecstasy, really found a treasure. After all, you can do a lot of things just in the portable space. Now that you find that the flow rate of time in the space is 30 times that of the outside world, you can do more things. For example, planting some vegetables and fruits in the space, like some vegetables with a short growth cycle, the seeds can be harvested in less than a day as soon as the seeds are planted. Of course, you can also grow some precious Chinese medicinal materials, as well as precious trees and so on. It's just that Lu Qing has no idea what to plant. What Lu Qing has to do now is to wait for the watermelon to ripen and taste how it tastes. Night falls, time has come tonight. Inside the rental house. Lu Qing said to Lu Xin with a mysterious face, Xin Xin, dad has a big gift for you today. Gift. When Lu Xin heard this, her face looked very happy, and she urged, what gift? Baba, take it out, take it out, and show it to Xin. That's good, Lu Qing said, Xin, close your eyes, and dad will bring it out for you right away. Well, good, Lu Xin obediently closed her eyes and said crisply, dad, go get it. While her daughter was closing her eyes, Lu Qing quickly came to the kitchen. With a thought, she instantly entered the portable space. Wow, it smells so good. As soon as he entered the space, Lu Qing smelled the fragrance of melons and fruits, which made people feel comfortable and happy. Lu Qing immediately took a look, and the vine leaves of the watermelon had gradually turned yellow and fell off. One by one, the huge watermelons were lying quietly on the ground. Some of the watermelons were ripe and fell off the vines automatically. As the saying goes, when the melons are ripe and the stems fall, the fruits are fragrant, isn't it right in front of the scene? Quote, ha ha, the watermelon is ripe. Lu Qing was very happy looking at the harvest of watermelons in front of her. But when he thought that his daughter was still waiting for him outside, Lu Qing had to act quickly and chose a watermelon that fell off the vine by itself. Huo, it's really heavy. Lu Qing bent down and picked up the selected watermelon, weighed it, and felt at least 50 pounds. Fortunately, because of the takeaway, Lu Qing ran non-stop every day, exercising his body, this weight is right for him, it's nothing. Out, then Lu Qing exited the space holding the watermelon. Then, Lu Qing came to the living room with the watermelon in his arms. He saw Lu Xinjiang's eyes were closed seriously, his long eyelashes moved slightly, and he looked very cute. He quickly put the watermelon in his hand and said, Okay, Xinxin, it's okay. Open your eyes, here comes the gift. Wow, what a big, what a big watermelon. Lu Xin, who opened his eyes, looked at the big watermelon like a hill in front of him and exclaimed. How is it, Xinxin? Seeing her daughter's surprised expression, Lu Qing smiled and said, Do you like this gift? I like it. Lu Xin nodded. Then do you want to eat it? Lu Qing asked. Lu Xin nodded first, then shook his head again. Oh, what, want to eat but can't bear to eat it? Heart, Lu Qing was happy. Yeah, Lu Xin stared at the huge watermelon with big watery eyes. Silly boy, Lu Qing touched Lu Xin's little head and said, don't be reluctant to eat it, Xinxin, from today onwards, our family will not be short of watermelons or other fruits. Just kidding, after all, with the space artifact, you can eat any fruit you want. Then Lu Qing took a knife and cut it open. Ha, huh, this leather is really hard enough, you can't really cut it without a little force. As soon as the knife went down, Lu Qing found that the skin of the watermelon was very strong, and it took gravity to cut it open. Under gravity, only a click was heard, and the watermelon split in half. I saw that the skin of the watermelon was thin, the flesh inside was plump and firm, and the color was bright red, and there was not a single watermelon seed. What a good melon. Seeing this, Lu Qing couldn't help but admire. Hey, here it is, Xinxin. After cutting the watermelon, 
Lu Qing picked up a piece and handed it to his daughter who was watching eagerly. Then he picked up a piece and ate it himself. Well, it's so sweet, so delicious. After taking the first bite, Lu Qing couldn't help but change his expression and exclaimed in admiration. He immediately took the second and third bites. In just a few seconds, a piece of watermelon was gone. Eat cleanly by him. It's really delicious, Lu Qing said sincerely after eating a piece of watermelon. Especially compared to the watermelon I bought a few days ago, the watermelon produced in this space is 10,000 times better. Xin Xin, what do you think? Later, Lu Qing asked Lu Xin, who was burying his head in eating. Good, eat, Baba, it's really, delicious. Lu Xin replied inarticulately while eating. Seeing that her daughter couldn't stop gulps, Lu Qing knew that the watermelon could not be wrong. However, when he thinks of so many watermelons in the space, Lu Qing has a headache. One watermelon is calculated at 50 jin. There are 300 or 400 watermelons in the space, which is nearly 20,000 jin. Should we sell them? Lu Qing suddenly thought that he couldn't finish eating them anyway, and he didn't want to waste them, so he might as well sell them for some money. Yes, just do it. Thinking of this, Lu Qing decided to pay attention, I'll go sell watermelons tomorrow. Since he planned to sell watermelons tomorrow, Lu Qing also began to plan. After all, each of the watermelons grown in the space weighed 50 kilograms. First, a transportation tool was needed to transport them. Ordinary tricycles or wooden carts are definitely not enough. It takes a few hundred kilograms to carry them, and they have to travel such a long way. If people want to pull them, they must be exhausted. So Lu Qing locked the transport to the car. A pickup truck, or a van. Lu Qing took out his mobile phone and searched because he planned to rent a car, but after seeing the search results, Lu Qing couldn't help but gasp. The price of this rental car is outrageous. Lu Qing complained that ordinary small trucks and vans cost hundreds of yuan a day to rent, not only that, but also pay a deposit of one or two thousand yuan, a security deposit, etc., various fees. This is totally unaffordable. After browsing through it carefully and looking at several rental car platforms, Lu Qing turned off his phone helplessly. After all, before a watermelon is sold, it has to spend thousands of dollars to rent a car. Lu Qing is still very reluctant. This car rental is completely unworkable, so I can only find someone to borrow it. Now that he gave up on renting a car, Lu Qing began to consider finding someone to borrow a car. Who should I borrow a car from? Lu Qing pondered and carefully recalled the people he knew well. After thinking about it for a while, Lu Qing found that he had very few friends in Modu. Although he had been in Modu for several years, Lu Qing couldn't say anything about finding a colleague to borrow a car. Hey, I can only find the grasshopper again. In the end, he couldn't find anyone, so Lu Qing could only focus his attention on his best friend, Grasshopper. Grasshopper is of course not Grasshopper, it's just a nickname given to him by Lu Qing. Grasshopper Guo, whose real name is Guo Guo, is Lu Qing's junior high school and high school classmate and best friend. The reason why Lu Qing was the last to think of him is mainly because Lu Qing has troubled him many times, and now he doesn't want to trouble him anymore, but he can't find anyone to borrow a car, so Lu Qing can only ask him for help. Of course, a more important reason is that Guo Guo does have a car, and it is still a Wuling Rongguang pickup, because Guo Guo is currently helping his second uncle, the chef, in a star-rated hotel. Usually chicken, duck, fish, meat and vegetables are all he drove out to shop. Thinking of this, Lu Qing picked up the phone, dug out Guo Guo's number and called him. The call is connected. Hey, Grasshopper, are you still busy? Is it convenient to answer the phone? Lu Qing asked. It's convenient, it's your kid, you haven't contacted me for a month or two. Guo Guo said on the other end of the phone. It's not like you don't know, I'm as busy delivering food as a dog every day, and I have to take care of my daughter and so on, then I'm free. Lu Qing explained. That's right, Guo Guo nodded on the other end of the phone. Then, Lu Qing explained the reason for the call. Little Grasshopper, is that the Wuling Rongguang pickup you usually drive for tomorrow? What's the use, that wrecked car hasn't been driven for a long time, and it's left in the garage to eat ashes? Guo Guo replied. What, is it broken? Lu Qing was startled. It's not broken, but it's not broken. The main reason is that it was replaced with a new one, 
which is electric, so the old one has been thrown there and no one drives it. Guo Guo explained. So that's the case, then you can lend it to me for a few days. Okay, come and get it. Okay, then I'll go to you to pick up the car tomorrow. Dot dot dot. The next day, after asking for leave, she sent her precious daughter Lu Xin to the kindergarten, and then Lu Qing went to Guo Guo to pick up the car. After picking up the car, under Guo Guo's reminder, Lu Qing first drove the car to the gas station to fill up the gas, and then found a secluded and quiet trail with no surveillance and no pedestrians. Lu Qing drove the car in, and then take out the watermelons in the space one by one. After loading a full car, Lu Qing drove the car onto the main road. As for scales, as well as watermelon knives, plastic bags, etc., Lu Qing has already bought them. At the intersection, in front of the zebra crossing, Lu Qing, who was driving, was waiting for the red light. Sudden, hey, little brother, how do you sell the watermelon in your car? Asked Lu Qing's left side, a Porsche sub next to his car, rolling down the window, revealing a bald middle-aged man in his thirties. Twenty a pound, big brother. Lu Qing didn't expect that, waiting for a red light, the owner of the car next to him was interested in his watermelon, so he replied quickly. This is also impossible, mainly Lu Qing, a cart full of big green watermelons is too eye-catching, and it is impossible to let people not pay attention. Twenty per pound, the price is good, not too expensive. The bald man smacked his lips after hearing Lu Qing's offer, can you taste it? You can give me two flavors. Of course, big brother. Lu Qing responded quickly. You lead the way, I'll follow you, find a place to park, and I'll cut one for you to taste. Okay, the bald man nodded. At this time, the red light just turned green, Lu Qing and the bald man started the car at the same time. After finding a place to park, Lu Qing and the bald man's cars stopped one after the other. Ha, huh, this melon is really big. After parking the car, the bald man got out of the car and came to Lu Qing's car, looking at the huge watermelon above and sighing. While Lu Qing was cutting watermelons. After the watermelon was cut, Lu Qing handed a piece to the bald man and said, Come on, eldest brother, try my melon how it tastes. Okay, the bald man answered and took it, then ate. It was midsummer, and although it was only early ten in the morning, the air was already sultry. After taking one bite, the bald man didn't speak. He took a second bite, feeling a little unfinished. He took a third bite. In addition, the outside was already stuffy, and in less than a minute, a piece of watermelon was taken by him. Eat clean. After eating, the bald man gave Lu Qing a thumbs up. Little brother, your watermelon tastes amazing, the flesh is crispy and sweet, much better than the watermelon I've ever eaten before, the most important thing is to eat it. In order to give people a feeling that the whole body is particularly comfortable, pick two for me anyway. Okay, big brother. Lu Qing replied with a smile on his face. As for the bald-headed man saying that eating is very comfortable, Lu Qing did not explain it, after all, this is the unique attribute of watermelons produced in the space. When choosing the melon for weighing, Lu Qing said, Brother, take a look at it. The two watermelons weigh 115 jins in total, and you will be charged 2,300 yuan. However, since you are my first buyer today, you can pay 2,000 yuan. Quote. Okay. The bald man nodded, I'll transfer it to you via WeChat. After hearing the sound of receiving the money, Lu Qing quickly moved the watermelon into the trunk of the bald man's car, and then the bald man drove away. Looking at the 2,000 yuan on the phone, Lu Qing couldn't believe it, is this a good start? Because he didn't expect that, waiting for a traffic light, he would make the first order of business today. With this good start, Lu Qing's heart is more confident and more confident. Then Lu Qing continued to drive to the destination. After half an hour, Lu Qing drove to the destination, the entrance of the vegetable market on North Wadong Road. The reason why I chose this place is because there are many high-end residential areas and apartments nearby, and the traffic is high, and the second is because here, you will not be sacked by the urban management and the parking is free. These are what Lu Qing usually sees when he delivers food. The driving car, Lu Qing, was looking around looking for a parking space, and found that the car in a parking space on the left of the entrance of the vegetable market just finished shopping and left. When Lu Qing saw the empty parking space, he hurriedly drove the car over and parked on it. After parking the car, 
Lu Qing opened the car door and got out. Seeing the flow of people coming and going in front of the market, he was very happy, ha ha, there are so many people. After all, the greater the flow of people, the higher the probability that Lu Qing can sell watermelons. Later, Lu Qing also saw that there were several fruit vendors behind his car and on the other side of the entrance of the vegetable market. Like him, there were two watermelon vendors. Seeing this, Lu Qing frowned, but he was not worried. After all, the watermelons he sold were produced in space. In terms of quality, taste, nutrition, etc., there was nothing comparable to ordinary watermelons outside. Young man, how do you sell this watermelon? Just as Lu Qing was looking around, a questioning voice suddenly came from behind. The visitor was an aunt in her fifties who was pushing a cart for grocery shopping. Seeing that the watermelons on Lu Qing's cart were all so big and bright green, I couldn't help but be curious. After seeing someone asking for the price, Lu Qing naturally greeted him with a smile and quickly introduced, Auntie, my jade watermelon is twenty per pound. What, twenty per pound? Auntie was taken aback when she heard the price reported by Lu Qing, and muttered, Why is your watermelon so expensive? It only sells for a few yuan per pound in the vegetable market. Forget it. Don't buy it. After saying that, he pushed his little cart and left. Is 20 a pound very expensive? Lu Qing recalled, to know that this price is still low in Lu Qing's opinion, after all, it is a watermelon produced in the magical space. The huge, emerald-colored watermelons are very eye-catching when placed on the side of the road, so Lu Qing soon ushered in another buyer. Boss, how do you sell this watermelon? The person who came was a beautiful woman with long hair and a shawl, a delicate face, and a very fashionable dress. Seeing the beautiful woman in front of her asking the price, Lu Qing quickly replied, 20 per pound. Then pick one for me. The beautiful beauty said very simply. Ah, Lu Qing was dumbfounded, he didn't expect the beauty in front of him to be so cheerful, neither haggling nor tasting it. Ah what, just pick one for me, boss. The beautiful beauty urged, I'm still in a hurry. Okay, Lu Qing replied, weighing, paying, then moving the watermelon into the trunk of the beauty's car, watching her drive away, Lu Qing felt a little unreal, it was too fast, even more than the bald brother who sold the first order. Bold and straightforward. But seeing the extra 1,100 yuan of income on his mobile phone reminded him that this was indeed true, which made Lu Qing admire, this beauty is really a straightforward and straightforward person, she deserves to be so beautiful. At this moment, a questioning voice came from behind Lu Qing, who sells this watermelon? Where's the boss? Come here. After hearing someone ask, Lu Qing hurried back. Before returning to his car, Lu Qing saw a father and son picking watermelons. Boss, how do you sell this watermelon? The middle-aged man who was picking melons raised his head and asked when Lu Qing came back. Brother, my watermelon is 20 yuan a pound. Lu Qing replied with a smile on his face. Well, after hearing the offer, the middle-aged man nodded and didn't say anything, but then asked, then can we taste your watermelon? Of course you can taste it. Lu Qing said, my watermelon is a pure natural cultivation. It is not only juicy, sweet, and delicious, but also more nutritious and healthy. If you bought it this time, you will definitely buy it next time. While speaking, Lu Qing had already cut the watermelon and handed it to the middle-aged man and his son. However, after the middle-aged man took the watermelon, he didn't eat it right away, but asked Shang Zhang's son, who was enjoying himself after taking the watermelon, how is it, son, is this watermelon delicious? The middle-aged man's son was a cute little chubby boy, and he replied while eating, Dad, this watermelon is so sweet, it's so much better than the one you bought. After getting his son's affirmative answer, the middle-aged man said, Okay, boss, you can pack the other half of this watermelon for me, I'll buy it. After all, there is only a family of three in the family, so the middle-aged man only bought half of them. Good, Lu Qing weighed happily and said, This half watermelon weighs 24 jins and 5 tails. Let's count it as 24 jins, and we will charge you 480 yuan. After paying the money, the middle-aged man and his son left with a watermelon. At this moment, an uncle who had just finished shopping came to the car and asked, Young man, is your watermelon really as mysterious as you say? Is it delicious and nutritious? It turned out that when the father and son were buying watermelons, Lu Qing's introduction was heard without a word by the uncle, 
So after seeing the father and son walking away with the watermelon, the uncle stepped forward and asked. Master, of course what I said is true. My watermelon was cultivated naturally. It has not been fertilized or given any medicine. It can withstand the test completely. Regarding the question from the uncle in front of him, Lu Qing said with certainty. As for the taste, uncle, you will know after you taste it. Lu Qing continued. Seeing Lu Qing slashing and cutting iron, it didn't seem like he was bragging. The uncle nodded and said, okay, then I'll have a taste. And Lu Qing quickly cut a piece of watermelon and handed it to the uncle. Ha, huh, your watermelon is really good. After taking a bite, the uncle couldn't help but light up and said, in terms of taste, it is indeed much better than what I used to eat. Then, after eating a piece of watermelon, the uncle said, young man, I bought your watermelon, but I don't buy much. Just give me three kilograms, because my wife and I are the only two people at home. Okay, uncle, no problem. Lu Qing replied, quickly cutting the melon, weighing and paying, Lu Qing waved to the uncle with a smile on his face, sir, walk slowly. With the beautiful woman just now, the father and son, and the uncle who bought watermelons, and the temperature is getting higher and higher, more and more people try and buy watermelons in front of Lu Qing's car. After a large circle, everyone said, boss, give me five pounds of watermelon. Boss, I want to buy ten pounds of watermelon. Boss, give me a whole watermelon. Quote dot 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 quote. Fire. Seeing that so many people came to buy it, Lu Qing knew that his watermelons were sold out. Fire. Lu Qing's watermelons are sold out. Especially people have a herd mentality. When they see that more people buy watermelons in front of Lu Qing's car, the more people come to watch, which makes Lu Qing's watermelons more popular. Moreover, due to the popularity of watermelons, Lu Qing has not stopped for a moment. The whole person is constantly spinning, choosing melons, cutting melons for weighing, and most importantly, collecting money. Especially when he heard the voice of the phone's voice receiving the money, and the red 100 yuan bills and some change, Lu Qing was even more motivated. Just like that, it was busy until 12 o'clock. Auntie, please walk slowly, you are welcome to buy my watermelon next time. Lu Qing, with a smile on his face, sent the last customer who bought watermelon away, and then it was empty. Phew, Lu Qing was also completely relieved after the air came down. After all, there were too many people who bought watermelons just now. Today is the first time Lu Qing has set up a stall to sell things. For fear that he may have made a mistake, his nerves are inevitably tense. Ha ha, but when he saw that there were only seven or eight watermelons left in the car, Lu Qing smiled happily. After all, the car was full just now, and now there is only a fraction left, how could Lu Qing not be happy? Afterwards, Lu Qing cut a piece of watermelon for himself and ate it, because the weather was so hot and busy for so long, Lu Qing never even drank saliva. Little brother, just as Lu Qing was eating watermelon to quench his thirst, a middle-aged man with a shaved head, a t-shirt and shorts, and a wallet on his back came to Lu Qing. Hey bro, seeing someone coming, Lu Qing, who was eating deliciously, quickly put the watermelon in his hand aside, wiped his mouth, and greeted, do you want to buy a watermelon? The middle-aged man waved his hand quickly and said, no no no, little brother, I just bought your watermelon and ate it. It tastes really good. Really, after all, there were so many people just now that Lu Qing couldn't remember it, but after hearing the middle-aged man's answer, Lu Qing was a little puzzled, then big brother, who are you? Little brother, it's like this, I also sell watermelons. The middle-aged man explained slowly, hey, that car over there is mine. Saying that, the middle-aged man pointed to a small truck full of watermelons parked not far away. Lu Qing followed the sound and found that there was indeed a small truck full of watermelons parked there. The reason I came to you was mainly to ask you, which wholesale market did your watermelons come from? Then, the middle-aged man stated the reason for coming to Lu Qing. It turns out that the watermelons on Lu Qing's side are so popular that almost no one cares about the watermelons sold by the middle-aged men. And just now, the middle-aged man also bought two kilograms of Lu Qing's watermelon to try. After eating, the middle-aged man found that the watermelon he was selling was not of the same grade as Lu Qing's watermelon. So while no one was there, the middle-aged man came to Lu Qing to find out where the watermelons came from. Oh, so that's what it is. When Lu Qing heard it, 
he understood everything. It turned out that the middle-aged man in front of him was treating himself as a second-order dealer. The middleman made a profit and ran over to inquire about his purchase address. After all, his watermelons are produced in the portable space and cannot be exposed at all, so Lu Ching pushed the boat along the way. Brother, I got this watermelon from Nanhua Fruit Wholesale Market, but as you can see, this watermelon is selling so well, I guess it's already sold out there. Is it Nanhua? It turns out that you bought the goods from this market. Hearing the address of Lu Ching newspaper, the middle-aged man nodded and said, I guess that place is long gone. Forget it, I'd better finish the watermelon in my hand first and then go and have a look. After expressing his thanks, the middle-aged man left Lu Ching's place and returned to his car. It seems that I can't stay in the same place to sell things in the future. It's too conspicuous. It must be reincarnated every ten days and a half months. Seeing the back of the middle-aged man leaving, Lu Ching thought to himself. Because the question from the middle-aged man just now also reminded Lu Ching that he must be more careful in the future. In the following period of time, Lu Ching sold several orders one after another, but the more they went, the less they sold. The vegetable market, which had been bustling with people just now, was completely quiet at this time, leaving only a few sparse pedestrians. Lu Ching looked at the time and found that it was already 12.30 noon. No wonder there were not many people. After waiting for another half an hour, Lu Ching did not sell a piece of watermelon. Seeing that there was no business, and his stomach was rumbling with hunger, Lu Ching planned to close the stall and was talking about finding a place to eat lunch. Afterwards, Lu Ching drove away and looked for a place to eat. Dot dot dot, 2.30 p.m. After eating, taking another nap, and filling the car with watermelons, Lu Ching drove back to the place where he stopped to sell watermelons in the morning. Although it is the hottest time of the day, Lu Ching is not afraid, because after having lunch just now, Lu Ching went to the store to buy a very large umbrella and a small portable fan. Afterwards, after parking the car and propping up the parasol, Lu Ching continued to sell watermelons. After a while, an old customer who bought Lu Ching watermelon in the morning came to the door. Of course, the reason is that I bought too few watermelons in the morning. I only bought a few kilograms of watermelons, and I ate them after taking them home. I felt a little unfinished, so I went out in the afternoon and bought some back. However, these two old customers did not buy just a few kilograms in the afternoon, but bought one directly and went back. As time passed by, Lu Ching's watermelons were also selling more and more. Most of them are customers who bought a few pounds in the morning. After all, in summer, the weather is too hot, and watermelon is a good product to relieve the heat in summer. And because Lu Ching's watermelons are produced in a portable space, the taste, nutritional quality, etc. are not comparable to those of other watermelons, so these people still want to eat them. 4.30 p.m. Lu Ching looked at the time and was about to close the stall and go back. Because her precious daughter Lu Xin had to leave school in half an hour, Lu Ching had to close the stall. Dot dot dot. Night. After putting her daughter to sleep, Lu Ching sat cross-legged on the sofa and began to count. When he opened his WeChat wallet, he saw 46,800 in the change balance above. Lu Ching was taken aback when he saw this big number. He didn't expect WeChat to receive so much money today. Then Lu Ching opened Alipay, and the balance showed 29,500. Then Lu Ching clicked again to receive cash, and received a total of 15,600. Finally, adding all three of them together, Lu Ching saw that the result obtained on the mobile phone calculator was 91,900. Although he had already prepared in his heart, when Lu Ching saw this figure, he was still shocked, because he never thought that he could earn so much today, so he hurriedly counted it again, but he still got the same amount, the result of. Seeing this result, Lu Ching suddenly thought of a word, does this count as, rich Jin Do Jin? Soon Lu Ching shook his head. After all, compared with the billionaires on the list of the richest people in China, his income is not enough to fill the gap between his teeth. Their group of talents is the real daily gold. After calculating the account, Lu Ching put away all the cash, and then with a thought, the whole person came into the space. Fortunately, these watermelons are not bad. Entering the space, Lu Ching saw the watermelons lying on the ground, and he was relieved, because one day had passed in the outside world, and thirty days had passed in the space.
Lu Qing was afraid that the remaining watermelons in the space would be broken. To this end, Lu Qing also filled the car with watermelons and parked it, and the place where the watermelon could be placed in the house was also full of watermelons. But despite this, except for the ones sold today, as well as those on the car and at home, inside the space there are still nearly 100 watermelons left. After a brief look, the vine leaves of the watermelon had begun to turn yellow and wither, but the watermelon itself did not turn yellow and fester. Seeing that the rest of the watermelons were all right, Lu Qing's worries dissipated. Then Lu Qing exited the space, washed and went to bed. Dot dot dot. The next day, morning, Lu Qing and Lu Xin sat at the table and had breakfast. Sudden, Lu Xin blinked her bright eyes, looked at Lu Qing and asked, Baba, Baba, can we give one of our big watermelons to Yuan Yuan and Yu Yu? When Lu Qing heard this, she looked at Lu Xin with some doubts, Xin Xin, are Yuan Yuan and Yu Yu your classmates? Can you tell Baba why we gave them watermelons? Lu Xin explained slowly, because I told them that our family has very large and very delicious watermelons, but they didn't believe them and said that watermelons can't grow that big. Oh, that Baba got it. Lu Qing understood immediately after hearing this. Probably when her daughter Lu Xin was resting and playing with her classmates, she said that she had a big and delicious watermelon at home. The classmates didn't believe it, so Lu Xin wanted to prove it to them. Is that okay? Baba, Lu Xinmin looked at Lu Qing begging. Lu Qing smiled and patted Lu Xin's head, and replied, Of course you can, you see, our family can't finish so many watermelons now, so why can't we give them to them? However, we can't just give it to your two classmates, but to all your classmates, so that all the classmates can take a look and taste our big watermelon. Lu Qing continued. After all, this is what her daughter wants to do. How could Lu Qing help her to do it, but in the blink of an eye, it would be inappropriate to only give it to Lu Xin's two classmates, so after thinking about it, Lu Qing decided to give a little more, let her whole class look and taste the watermelon. Wow, Baba is so good. When Lu Xin heard this, he immediately smiled and shouted loudly. Okay, okay, Xinxin, then let's finish the meal quickly. Lu Qing waved his hand beside him and said, let's deliver it after we finish eating. Okay, Lu Xin nodded in agreement, then quickly ate. After breakfast, Lu Qing and Lu Xin drove to Lu Xin's kindergarten in their car, dragging watermelons. After all, it was only a few streets away, and they were driving again. Three or four minutes later, Lu Qing and Lu Xin arrived at the gate of the kindergarten. After parking the car, Lu Qing opened the door first, then went to the co-pilot, opened the door, helped Lu Xin unbuckle the seat belt, and carried her down. Mr. Tutu, good morning. After getting off the bus, Lu Xin saw the teacher standing at the door and said hello. Good morning, Xinxin. Teacher Tutu responded with a smile. Lu Qing, who was on the side, greeted Mr. Tutu when he saw Mr. Tutu, and then Lu Qing said his original idea and idea of sending watermelons to the whole class. That's it. After Mr. Tutu listened to Lu Qing's words, he pondered and said, Dad Xinxin, let's do it, wait for me for a while, and I'll ask the principal. Although teacher Tutu is the head teacher, she can't just accept the things that parents donated, and she still has to give food to the children in the class, because if something goes wrong, she can't take the responsibility, so she must ask the leader for instructions. Okay, Lu Qing nodded and said yes. After waiting for about three minutes, teacher Tutu and the principal of the kindergarten came out. The head of the garden is a middle-aged woman in her forties. She is very kind. After Lu Qing explained the situation to her, the head of the garden happily agreed to accept the watermelon sent by Lu Qing, but there is one requirement, that is, Lu Qing should sign a liability guarantee. In addition, the principal told Lu Qing that after signing the responsibility guarantee, the watermelons had to be inspected and distributed to the children in the class after they were safe and hygienic. Lu Qing nodded in understanding. Afterwards, Lu Qing followed the principal to the office to sign. After signing, Lu Qing returned to prepare to unload the watermelons. There was also a middle-aged man who came back with Lu Qing. He was a staff member of the canteen in the garden. Lu Qing asked the garden director to arrange for help. Because Lu Qing thinks that giving one is a gift, and sending two is also a gift, especially seeing these innocent children, Lu Qing plans to give the whole kindergarten children. And I just asked the principal, 
and now there are only three summer nursery classes in the kindergarten, with around 50 people and all the teachers in their early 60s. So Lu Ching can afford it, because he considers giving three watermelons to each class, plus three more watermelons from the teachers, so there are only 12 in total. But the car could not go in, so Lu Ching called the staff of the cafeteria to drag a small iron cart and drag the watermelon in. When the two came to the car, the middle-aged man saw that Lu Ching's car was covered with a layer of black tape and tied tightly with ropes, and exclaimed, Little brother, you are really covered. Brother, I did this to prevent the rain. After all, the weather changed suddenly this summer, and thunderstorms come as soon as they say it. The second is to prevent them from being stolen. Lu Ching untied the rope and explained, Because I parked my car in a parking space outside the community last night. No wonder, then this protection is really to be done. The middle-aged man nodded in agreement, and then helped Lu Ching to untie the rope together. The ropes were all untied, and Lu Ching lifted the black tape on it. When he saw the watermelon on the car, the middle-aged man exclaimed, Hey, little brother, your watermelon is really big, and the color is so fresh and green. Quote. Lu Ching still used the old excuse before and said, Brother, my watermelon is also wholesaled from the market. It is said that it was shipped from Ning province. Saying that, Lu Ching took a watermelon from the car and put it on the cart. Then Lu Ching followed the middle-aged man and dragged the watermelon to the school cafeteria. After all, he had to pass through the campus. The huge watermelon dragged by Lu Ching quickly attracted the attention of the children. One or two widened their eyes and let out bursts of exclamations. He ran over to touch it, and then quickly ran away. How about it, you and you and, you and you, you can see it, I really didn't lie to you, my watermelon is really that big. At the same time, Lu Xin and her friends also saw the watermelon dragged by her father Lu Qing, but she didn't go up to say hello, and said to the friends beside her with a serious face. The two little friends Muna nodded. Dot dot dot. More than ten minutes later, twelve watermelons have been delivered to the kindergarten canteen. Lu Qing said to Lu Xin, Okay, my dear daughter, the watermelon has been delivered, and Baba is leaving, so be obedient and listen to the teacher. Well, Lu Xin nodded. Baba bye bye. Goodbye with heart. Chapter 11 After saying goodbye to her daughter, Lu Qing walked out of the kindergarten, got into her car, started the car, left here, and started a new day of selling melons. After all, yesterday's net income was over 90,000 yuan, which was more than Lu Qing had saved in two years, so on the new day, Lu Qing was even more motivated. The car was driving at high speed on the road. Lu Qing drove the car and did not go to the door of the wet market, which was a big sale yesterday, but chose to change to a new place. The new place that Lu Qing came to is one of the rich and famous areas in Modu. After all, not everyone can afford 20 yuan per pound of watermelon. After arriving here, Lu Qing did not randomly find a place to park, but drove around first to see if there was a stall here, or if there was an urban management officer. Because the magic capital is the largest city in China, and the city management is quite strict. If caught by the urban management, the fine is only a small matter, but if the vehicle is impounded, Lu Qing will definitely cry without tears. Therefore, in order to avoid these situations, Lu Qing felt that it was better to be more cautious. After a few minutes, Lu Qing, who was driving around in the car, had a preliminary understanding of this area. One is that stalls can be set up here, because when he was just wandering around, Lu Qing saw several mobile vendors who were pushing tricycles selling vegetables and fruits. Second, there was no urban management here. Afterwards, Lu Qing, who was relieved, found a parking space on the side of the road, parked the car, and waited for the business to come. It just didn't take two or three minutes to see a middle-aged woman in her early fifties coming to Lu Qing's car and looking at the watermelon in the car. Seeing a customer coming, Lu Qing quickly stepped forward and greeted with a smile, Auntie, do you want to buy watermelon? The middle-aged woman frowned when she saw the watermelon price marked on the cardboard in Lu Qing's car, I said, Boy, your watermelon sells for 20 yuan a pound, why is it so expensive, isn't it just a bit bigger, it looks too it's no different from other watermelons. After all, with yesterday's experience, Lu Qing answered the doubts of the middle-aged woman in front of him with ease, and only heard him say, Auntie, you can't just look at the surface of this watermelon. You must know that my watermelon is a pure natural organic watermelon. 
From sowing and germination to fruit ripening, I haven't applied fertilizer or medicine once in the middle. Who knows if what you said is true, I haven't seen it before. The middle-aged woman muttered after hearing it. Lu Qing's chest clapped and said, Auntie, what I said is all the truth. I also support using it for testing. If there is any fake, I will pay 100 for it. Having said that, Lu Qing hurriedly cut a watermelon and showed it to the middle-aged woman. Also, Auntie, look, this melon of mine has bright red flesh. Although it is so big, it does not have powder or sand inside. Of course, having said so much, Auntie, you still have to taste my watermelon and see if my price is worth it. Quote. Lu Qing finally said. Immediately, Lu Qing cut the cut watermelon into very small pieces and handed it to the middle-aged woman. Seeing that the watermelon handed over was eaten cleanly by the middle-aged woman, Lu Qing said with a smile, How about it, Auntie, my watermelon is really delicious. The middle-aged woman nodded and said, Young man, your watermelon is really good. It's much better than the imported watermelon that my son bought. So I bought your watermelon. Help me pick one. Okay, Lu Qing said with a smile. In the end, the middle-aged woman bought a watermelon and went. After this smooth opening of the business, and adding two watermelons in a row for the onlookers to try, Lu Qing's watermelons quickly became popular. Before 11 o'clock, Lu Qing's carload of watermelons was sold out. In the end, Lu Qing had no choice but to say to the customers who didn't buy watermelons, I'm really sorry everyone. Today's watermelons are sold out. If you want to buy them, you will have to wait a week. Then the crowd dispersed, and Lu Qing was about to drive away. Why are the watermelons sold out so quickly today? In the car, Lu Qing also felt a little puzzled. Today, the watermelons seem to have sold out after a long time. Oh, I see. After thinking about it carefully, Lu Qing knew what was going on. The main reason is that the people who buy watermelons today are only one or two. In this way, the whole purchase is rarely a few pounds or a few pounds, so watermelons sell so fast. After thinking about it, Lu Qing couldn't help but sigh, the purchasing power of this wealthy area is really fierce. Immediately, Lu Qing started the car and left, then found a place where no one was monitoring, and quickly took out the watermelons in the space and filled the car. After filling up the watermelons, Lu Qing drove the car and did not return to the place just now, but chose to change to a new place. After all, there are watermelon vendors everywhere in the summer. Lu Qing doesn't want to stay in the same place all the time, so that none of his peers have business, so he can check the source of his watermelon. After a whole day, Lu Qing acted like a gorilla. He drove his car to two or three places to sell watermelons. Although it was a little time-consuming, the effect was actually very good. Before 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Lu Qing's watermelons were completely sold out. Dot dot dot. In the evening, after putting her daughter to sleep, Lu Qing began to count the money. Although the amount received by WeChat and Alipay in a day is clear at a glance, it is very clear, but after all, a lot of cash is still received in the end of the day. So what Lu Qing is doing now is counting the cash. Today, I actually earned 200,200 in one day. Finally, after counting the cash and adding up the three, Lu Qing was so shocked that he could lay down two eggs when he saw today's income. But after a while, Lu Qing was relieved. After all, today, he sold all the watermelons in the car and in the space, so it is normal to get this income. Afterwards, after collecting the money, Lu Qing moved into the space with a thought. At this time, the original vines and leaves of the watermelon in the space had long since disappeared and returned to their original appearance. It's really amazing. Although he already knew the magic of space, Seeing the bare black land in front of him was like never planting watermelons, Lu Qing had to sigh again. After a brief look, Lu Qing exited the space. Dot dot dot. The next day, after having breakfast and sending Lu Xin to kindergarten, Lu Qing did not continue to go to the remaining watermelons in the cellar, but rode a motorcycle to the rider station where he worked to submit a letter of resignation to the webmaster. Yes, after two days of selling watermelons, he made nearly 300,000 yuan. Lu Qing felt that it was pointless to continue working as a food delivery driver, so Lu Qing planned to resign. What, Lu Qing, you also want to resign? You're not thinking about waiting a few more days. When the webmaster Song Bo saw Lu Qing's resignation letter, he insisted. After all, 
Liu Qing is the monthly leader of his site. It would be a pity to leave. I've already thought about the webmaster. Liu Qing replied solemnly. Hey, okay. Since Liu Qing was planning to resign, the webmaster Song Bo didn't say anything, so he agreed to Liu Qing's resignation. Call. After resigning and leaving the rider station, Liu Qing felt as if the stone he was holding on had finally been removed. He was refreshed and relaxed. Afterwards, Liu Qing got on his motorcycle and went to a nearby bank, intending to deposit the cash he received in the past two days. After all, Liu Qing felt that it was not safe to put it at home. She was worried that it would suddenly disappear in the space, and it was inconvenient to put it in the satchel that she was carrying, so Liu Qing felt that it was more secure to keep it in the bank. A few minutes later, Liu Qing rode to the bank, parked the car at the door, pushed the door and walked in. Hey, it's all full. In front of the self-service teller machine, Liu Qing saw that the two machines in front of him were full, so he had no choice but to go to get the number and queue up to deposit at the counter. Although there were many people queuing for business in the hall, Liu Qing took a look and found that all six windows were working, so after waiting for five or six minutes, it was Liu Qing's turn. Hello, I save money. In front of the window, Liu Qing said to the bank teller inside, saying that Lu Qing hurriedly handed in the cash and bank cards that had been prepared in the bag. Okay, sir, please wait a moment. After taking the cash and card handed over by Lu Qing, the bank teller replied. Thanks. A few minutes later, Lu Qing, who had saved the money, said thank you, then got up, left the counter, and walked out of the bank. Before coming to the motorcycle, Lu Qing did not rush to leave, but took out his mobile phone and searched to see if there were places selling seeds in Modu. Because all the watermelons in the space are now sold out, Lu Qing plans to buy some seeds to make up for it. Don't mention it, after all, the magic capital is such a big city, Lu Qing took a mobile phone on the search engine, and after a simple search, he found several places selling seeds. Leisurely flower arrangement, Lu Qing wrote down the address of the nearest flower shop called, you're in flower art, and immediately started the car and drove towards the shop. Half an hour later, Lu Qing came to the door of this shop. No wonder it's called leisure flower art. Looking at the various potted plants of flowers and trees stacked in front of the door, Lu Qing thought that it was a veritable flower shop, and immediately pushed the door and walked in. Welcome to the store, little brother, what are you going to buy today? The shop owner was a middle-aged man in his forties, wearing glasses, and was sitting in a chair board watching the live broadcast. After seeing Lu Qing coming in, he quickly put down his mobile phone and greeted warmly. I want to buy some seeds, boss. Lu Qing replied. After a brief look, Lu Qing found that there were two long shelves on each side of the room. What kind of seeds do you want to buy? The shop owner asked with a smile on his face. I want to buy some watermelon seeds. After Lu Qing looked at the furnishings in the lower shop, he immediately retracted his gaze and said to the shop owner. Hearing Lu Qing's answer, the shop owner nodded and said, I have some watermelon seeds here, but I don't know if you're going to buy one or two packs. One pack, two packs, Lu Qing had no idea about this, but instead asked, Boss, how many seeds do you need for this acre of land? There are 200 seeds in a bag. If there is an acre of land, you need about 600 plants for large watermelons and about 900 plants for small watermelons. The store owner took Lu Qing's words. After speaking, the shop owner snapped back to his senses and looked at Lu Qing with a dumbfounded expression, I said, little brother, you won't find an acre of land to grow watermelons in this magical capital, right? Ha ha, how is that possible, boss, I have that ability. Lu Qing smirked quickly and replied, I just asked casually. But what he said just now, Lu Qing kept it in his heart and knew how many seeds he should buy. Well, the shop owner nodded and said, then how many bags are you going to buy? The seeds I have here are all big melons. How much is that bag of seeds? Lu Qing asked. A pack of 45 yuan. The shop owner replied, it's so expensive. Lu Qing was a little surprised when he heard it. Originally, Lu Qing thought that a pack of watermelon seeds was very cheap, about a few dollars or ten dollars, but he did not expect the price to be so high. Little brother, I didn't sell you a high price, it's all a normal price. The shop owner explained patiently, if you don't believe me, you can check it online to find out. When Lu Qing heard it, 
he took out his mobile phone and searched, and found that the price of watermelon seeds was just like what the boss said. The price of 200 seeds is generally the same. As for imported varieties, the price will more than double. Boss, if I buy more, can you offer a lower price? Putting the phone in his pocket, Lu Ching asked reluctantly. Little brother, this is really a small business for me, and the price can't be less. The shop owner replied firmly, but if you really want to buy more, I can give you this bag of ginseng seeds. With that said, the shop owner took down a pack of black seeds in a transparent plastic bag from the shelf behind him. This package of ginseng seeds was collected by the shop owner from a friend. It is said that an experienced herbalist picked it from ginseng that has been in the mountains and forests for decades and hundreds of years. It's just been collected for several years, but this seed of life has not been sold, because everyone is not interested in growing ginseng, but prefers fruits and vegetables, flowers and plants, so the ginseng seeds have been put aside. Of course, the price of this ginseng seed is not expensive, otherwise the shop owner would be reluctant to give it away. All right, although the price is not too low, when he saw the gift ginseng seeds handed over by the shop owner, Lu Qing felt a lot more comfortable and said, Boss, I want 20 packs of watermelon seeds, you can pack it for me. Okay, little brother, the shop owner said with a smile on his face when he heard it, wait for me for a while, and I'll go to the warehouse at the back to pack it for you. The owner of the store went to the warehouse at the back. Lu Qing was wandering around the store, looking at the various seeds in front of him. Lu Qing suddenly thought that growing watermelons by himself is a seed, and growing vegetables as well. Why don't you grow some vegetables to eat? You know that you still buy groceries to eat every day. Thinking of this, Lu Qing saw the shop owner coming out of the back warehouse and asked, Boss, what kinds of vegetable seeds do you have here? Vegetable seeds. Then I have more here. The shop owner replied, for example, radishes, peas, cabbage, tomatoes, eggplants, pumpkins, winter melons, green peppers, red peppers, green beans, etc. So many. When Lu Qing heard this, he was shocked, but then he gritted his teeth and said, Boss, give me a pack of all the vegetable seeds you have here. Considering that it is better than buying vegetables to eat, Lu Qing decided to buy some of all the vegetable seeds. After all, there is space with him, so he can grow the vegetables he wants to eat. After confirming that Lu Qing was not joking, the shop owner's face immediately blossomed with joy. Big customer, this is the first time someone has bought so many seeds after opening the shop for so long, and then he got busy. After some hectic work, the shop owner finally bagged and sealed all the seeds Lu Qing needed. After a simple check, Lu Qing found that there was no problem. He quickly transferred the money to pay, then left the flower shop with the seeds, and then rode his motorcycle home. Speeding all the way, Lu Qing quickly returned to the rental house on a motorcycle. Enter. After returning to the rental house, Lu Qing closed the door, and then with a thought, he took the two bags of seeds he just bought and got into the portable space. After entering the space, Lu Qing put the seeds in his hands on the ground, then came to the side of the water pool in the space, bent down, picked up a handful of water, and poured it into his mouth. Mainly in the midsummer season, the weather is scorching hot. Lu Qing has been running back and forth all the way, and his body has been sweating profusely, and his mouth is even more dry. Therefore, as soon as Lu Qing got into the portable space, he came to the water pool to drink water. Of course, the more important reason was because of the magical effect of the water in this space. I saw that Lu Qing, whose body was still hot and tired a second ago, became refreshed and full of energy in an instant after drinking this pool of water. Comfortable. After feeling the changes in her body, Lu Qing praised and immediately began to get busy. Lu Qing bent down and took out a pack of watermelon seeds from the big bag. Then, he tore the bag open, poured the seeds into his hands, and spread them evenly on the black soil in front of him. There are 200 seeds in a bag, and about 600 plants are needed for one mew of land. Lu Qing remembers clearly what the owner of the flower shop just said. In other words, one acre of land needs three bags of seeds. After a simple calculation, after Lu Qing sowed a bag of seeds, he turned around and took out two packets of seeds from the big bag, and then drew a scoop according to the gourd, and scattered them all evenly on the black soil in front of him. After a few minutes, 
Ha, it's done. Lu Ching clapped his hands in fear as he looked at the one acre of land where the seeds had been planted in front of him. Although the carry-on space covers more than five acres and bought 20 packs of watermelon seeds, Lu Ching did not plan to plant all the land in the space. One is that Lu Ching has too many plants, he is too busy to sell, and the other is that he has too many shipments. He is worried about attracting the attention of some people, so he can investigate the source of his watermelon. So in order not to attract attention, Lu Ching still intends to take it slow. It's time to grow vegetables. After sowing the acre of watermelon field in front of him, Lu Ching remembered so many vegetable seeds he had bought, then turned around and came to the big bag of seeds. What vegetables should I plant first? Lu Ching looked at the various vegetable seeds in the big bag, and was a little confused. After all, there were too many. Just you. Immediately, Lu Ching grabbed a handful as if drawing lots, and after taking a closer look, he found that they were five kinds of green peppers, white radishes, tomatoes, pumpkins, and cucumbers. Just plant it here. Holding five packets of seeds, Lu Ching chose a spot beside the watermelon field to plant them. Then Lu Ching tore the packaging open, poured out the seeds, and sprinkled them on. However, Lu Ching did not sprinkle much, it can be said to be very little. For example, pumpkin, he sprinkled one grain, and cucumber, he sprinkled two grains, because even a vine will bear a lot of fruit on a pumpkin, and the same is true for cucumbers. As for the big green peppers, white radishes, and tomatoes, Lu Ching sprinkled four or five pieces respectively. Because there were so many plants, Lu Ching and his daughter Lu Xin couldn't finish them all, and with the space artifact, Lu Ching wanted to plant different vegetables to eat every few days. After all, they had to change the taste. Ha, huh, how did I forget you? After Lu Ching had scattered a few vegetable seeds, he was about to put the rest into a bag for packing when suddenly a bag of black seeds, sealed in a transparent plastic bag, fell out of the big bag without any packaging instructions. Lu Ching picked it up and looked at it, isn't it the ginseng seeds that the owner of the flower shop just sent? I don't know if this kind of seed can take root and sprout to grow ginseng. Looking at the black and shriveled ginseng seeds on their hands, with some moldy substances covering the case, Lu Ching was a little skeptical. Would you like to try it? With the attitude of giving it a try, Lu Ching decided to come and have a look. Immediately holding the ginseng seeds, Lu Ching came to the side where the vegetables had just been sown, found a piece of land, and then poured out about one or two hundred ginseng seeds in the transparent bag, and then sprinkled it bit by bit. Although the ginseng seeds were a gift, they shouldn't have had much hope, but looking at the ginseng seeds that had been planted, Lu Ching was still a little worried that they would not be able to take root and sprout. Would you like to give them some water from the pool? Let's see if they will take root and sprout in the future. At this moment, Lu Ching suddenly thought in his mind. After all, people who drink this pool of water can instantly be full of vitality, and maybe it is also effective for this ginseng seed. Thinking of this, Lu Ching hurried to the edge of the pool, picked up a handful of water, turned back, and threw it on the ginseng seeds that had just been sown. But a handful of water is too little, it is no different from not pouring it, Lu Ching immediately turned around and prepared to continue to bring water. At this moment, a miraculous scene happened. I saw a few ginseng seeds soaked in the pool water, like magic, they took root and sprout instantly, and then quickly grew to a height of 6 or 7 centimeters, and then pulled out 5 or 6 pieces of tender green, leaf. Seeing the ginseng growing in front of him, Lu Ching was a little stunned, but he recovered immediately, and exclaimed in disbelief, this is too unbelievable, and the magic of the gods is nothing more than that. But this ginseng is obviously not mature yet. He was amazed, but Lu Ching saw the ginseng that was not even half finished, and thought, could it be that there is too little water? Because Lu Ching clearly saw that the leaves of the ginseng were not fully grown yet, only half of them had grown out. Thinking of this, Lu Ching thought about it, exited the space, and ran to the kitchen to get a water basin, filled it with a basin of cool water, and poured it directly on the ginseng. Wow, the moment the ginseng touched the pool water, it began to grow wildly again. In a few breaths, the ginseng grew to half a person's height, with lush branches and red ginseng seeds on the top. Afterwards, Lu Ching drew water on a gourd and poured water on other ginseng seeds. After meeting the water, a ginseng plant rose from the ground in an instant, and in less than a minute, a ginseng forest was formed. Haha, ha, it's done, it's done. 
Looking at the ginseng forest in front of him, Lu Qing was very happy and excited, because he had no idea that the pool water in this space could still be used so wonderfully. I really found a super baby. Lu Qing couldn't help but sigh again. Originally, Lu Qing was overjoyed to get this portable space by chance. Later, he discovered that the flow of time in the space was 30 times, which made Lu Qing extremely happy. But I never imagined that the pool of water in this space would have such a fairy-like super catalytic effect, which made Lu Qing in front of him extremely excited. After all, with this magical pool of water, Lu Qing can do more things in the future. For example, he can grow fruits on the land outside to sell, and he doesn't have to worry about others investigating the source of his fruits. It's just that we have to experiment to find out. But now Lu Qing is obviously not free. I don't know if this ginseng can be sold for money. Or how much can this ginseng be sold for? Lu Qing, who had calmed down, thought to himself when he saw the large amount of ginseng in front of him. Because Lu Qing really doesn't know anything about ginseng, in his impression, ginseng is generally more expensive, otherwise Lu Qing would not grow it. Hey, why do you think so much? Is this ginseng worth anything? Just dig some and sell it. But before excavation, Lu Qing quickly picked up the water basin, went to the pool and filled it with water, and then sprinkled it on the ginseng in front of him. Dig. After careful observation, Lu Qing found that the ginseng did not continue to grow, and began to dig. First of all, Lu Qing first picked the top ginseng seeds, collected them and put them away. After all, if the ginseng could really sell for money, then he could use these seeds to replant. After collecting the ginseng seeds, Lu Qing squatted down and began to plan it with his bare hands. You must know that you have poured seven or eight pots of water just now. It stands to reason that the ground should have swelled and softened, or there were residual water marks on the ground. After doing it, Lu Qing found that the black soil was still very dry and hard, and there was no trace of fresh water on the surface. Not only that, there was not even a drop of water on the branches and leaves of ginseng. Seeing this scene, Lu Qing can only attribute it to the magic of this portable space. No, I have to find a tool to help. After two minutes of digging with his bare hands, Lu Qing couldn't dig any further. The black soil was really dry and hard, and it was painful to dig with his hands, but he didn't dig much. Get out. Immediately, Lu Qing exited the space and found a wooden spatula for cooking in the kitchen. With the shovel, Lu Qing quickly dug up. This ginseng is too small. After digging out the soil covered on it, Lu Qing frowned when he saw the ginseng plant in front of him showing most of its body, only a little bigger than the thumb. Because in Lu Qing's cognition, the bigger the ginseng, the better. But this ginseng root is really developed. After excavating the upper half, Lu Qing began to dig the lower half, but the more he dug, Lu Qing found that the roots of the ginseng were really developed and dense, which made Lu Qing be careful, for fear of damaging its appearance. Ha, huh, I finally dug it out. Ten minutes later, Lu Qing carefully cleaned the soil from the fibrous roots, and finally dug out the ginseng plant in front of him intact, and couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. No wonder it's called ginseng. After digging it out, Lu Qing looked at the ginseng in his hand like a little old man. But it's really too small. After taking a closer look, Lu Qing still felt that the ginseng plant in his hand was a bit small, so he thought about it, should I dig another one out and see? Anyway, there are so many plants in front of me. As soon as he said it, Lu Qing picked up the shovel and started digging. With the experience just now, Lu Qing's digging speed was significantly faster this time. In less than six minutes, the second ginseng was completely dug out. Why is it still so small? After digging it out, Lu Qing took a closer look and found that the size of the second ginseng was not much different from the first. Dig. Lu Qing, who did not give up, dug two more plants in succession. Forget it, forget it, don't dig. Finally, comparing the four ginseng plants together, Lu Qing found that the four ginseng plants were almost the same in size, so he had no choice but to give up, let's take them out and sell them to see the market. Afterwards, Lu Qing took the ginseng and left the portable space. After exiting the space, Lu Qing found two transparent boxes, and one box contained two. Where should I sell them? After packing the ginseng, Lu Qing thought about it. After all, this ginseng is not like a watermelon and can be sold on the roadside. After thinking about it for a while, 
Lu Qing simply took out his mobile phone and searched, there was a place to buy ginseng in the magic capital. Taikongtang, a century-old brand, buys ginseng, deer antler, and Ganoderma lucidum at high prices. We have professional appraisers who will never falsify. The price is settled now. We look forward to your arrival. Contact number. Address. When Lu Qing saw the search results, the top one was a Chinese medicine store called Taikongtang that was buying ginseng. Then you too. Then he scrolled down, and Lu Qing chose Taikongtang in another Chinese medicine store called Beikaoju. The two addresses were not far apart. The reason why Lu Qing chose two was mainly for comparison. Let's go. After choosing the store, Lu Qing picked up two boxes of ginseng and prepared to go downstairs and drive. Half an hour later, Lu Qing drove his car to Taikongtang and found a parking space in front of the store to park the car. Lu Qing opened the door with ginseng and got off the car. No wonder you dare to call yourself a century-old shop, this shop is really big enough. Standing at the door of the store, looking at the gilded plaque above the main entrance that reads Taikong Hall in the area of the store occupying most of the street, Lu Qing couldn't help but sigh. Immediately, Lu Qing walked in with ginseng. There were not many people in the shop, it was very quiet. Even though it was a Chinese medicine store, Lu Qing did not smell the strong smell of Chinese medicine. Hello, sir, are you here to buy medicine? Or, just as Lu Qing was looking around, a staff member of Taikong Hall greeted him and said respectfully. The reason why he asked this question was that 99% of the people who mainly came to Taikong Hall came to buy medicine. No, it's not. When Lu Qing heard this, he quickly replied, I'm here to sell this, but I just don't know who to find. With that, Lu Qing opened the box in his hand and showed her the ginseng inside. It turns out that Mr. is here to sell things. The other party glanced at the ginseng in the box and said, Come with me, this way please. Afterwards, Lu Qing was taken to a small cubicle. Sir, hello, please wait a moment, our expert will be here soon. After bringing it to the cubicle, the staff of Taikong Hall said, then made Lu Qing a cup of fragrant tea, and then exited the room. Two minutes later, an old man in white clothes fluttering in his sixties walked in. Young man, do you want to sell ginseng? After the old man in white came in, he asked straight to the point. Lu Qing nodded and said, yes, old man. Then he picked up the box beside him, opened the lid, put it on the table, and pushed it in front of the old man in white. After seeing the ginseng in the box, the old man in white instantly became solemn, and then carefully took the ginseng out of the box and put it on the table. Then the old man in white took out a pair of reading glasses and put them on, and checked them carefully, while Lu Qing waited patiently. Time passed by minute by minute. In the end, the old man in white took a small piece of ginseng, chewed it in his mouth, and spit it out. Then he said, Little brother, to be honest, your ginseng is the best quality ginseng I have seen in the past 30 years. But, then the old man in white changed his words, it's obvious that your ginseng has only been dug out not long ago. If you wait for a few years, the price of this ginseng will definitely go up. However, since you have encountered it, it is you, fate. So our Taikongtang offered 480,000 ginseng per plant to buy your ginseng. Finally, the old man in white made an offer. I don't know, little brother, if you are willing to sell us Taikongtang. Sell. Without any hesitation, Lu Qing nodded in agreement. Don't look at Lu Qing's expressionless and calm face, in fact, his heart has turned upside down, because the price of this ginseng has completely exceeded his expectations. Haha, <laughs> little brother is such a cheerful person. Seeing that Lu Qing did not hesitate, the old man in white laughed and said, come with me and sign a contract in the finance room. Is this money just so handy? After the signing and drawing was postponed, Lu Qing looked at the bank account notification text message on his mobile phone. He couldn't believe it, but the text message said that the transfer income from your bank card number is 960,000. 960,000. For the former Lu Qing, this was something he could not even dream of, especially with a daily income of 960,000 yuan, so Lu Qing quickly took a few deep breaths to calm himself down, and then strode away from Taikong Hall. Arriving in the car, Lu Qing was going to go to Beikaoju to sell the remaining two ginseng plants. Although Gang Taikongtang's bid completely exceeded Lu Qing's expectations, Lu Qing decided not to sell the two ginseng plants to them for the time being. 
because Liu Qing still wants to compare the two stores and learn more about the market conditions. After all, there are hundreds of ginseng plants in the space, and there are so many ginseng seeds that can be planted continuously. One more store is also convenient for the future. Ginseng is sold scattered. Immediately, Liu Qing started the car and drove towards Beikaoju. Beikaoju is very close to Taikongtang, just a few streets away. In less than five minutes, Liu Qing came to the entrance of Beikaoju and parked the car. Liu Qing took Jinseng walked in. More than half an hour later, Liu Qing walked out again. Of course, at the same time, Liu Qing had another 920,000 in his bank card. Although Beikaoju's bid was not as high as Taikongtang's, Liu Qing was still at this price. Very satisfied. And just in the store, Liu Qing also asked what herbs are as famous as ginseng or more valuable than ginseng. After all, one plant of ginseng can sell for so much money, why should I grow fruits to sell? Isn't it a better choice to have a variety of precious herbs? This is what Liu Qing thought. However, the answer he got made Liu Qing want to cry without tears. Because many of these precious herbs cannot be grown artificially, such as Ganoderma lucidum, which is a fungal plant that reproduces by spores, and Cordyceps sinensis, which is completely seedless. As for bird's nest and deer antler, Liu Qing has nowhere to raise swallows and seek a deer. In desperation, Liu Qing could only give up the idea. It's time to go back, Xingxin is about to leave school. After leaving Beikaoju, Liu Qing checked the time and found that it was almost 4 o'clock, and there was still an hour before her daughter had to leave school. Quickly start the car and go back. More than 40 minutes later, Liu Qing drove to the gate of the kindergarten, but the gate was full of cars to pick up the children. Liu Qing could only park the car a little farther from the gate. After parking the car, Liu Qing checked the time. It was nearly 10 minutes before Liu Xin got out of school, so he simply waited in the car. After all, in the midsummer season, the weather at 4 or 5 o'clock is extremely hot, so it is better to stay in the car. Blow cold air. Immediately, Liu Qing took out his mobile phone and swiped the news to pass the time. Shocked, China Koi hit a new high and sold for a sky-high price. Just as Liu Qing was boredly flipping through the news, a breaking news suddenly popped up. Koi, um, sky-high price. He originally planned to close this pop-up news, but when he saw the word, high price, Liu Qing stopped immediately and read it slowly. I saw the news content. Today, I traveled to the 29th China Koi Auction Conference at the Magic City Tianyu Aquarium. Koi players from all over the country gathered together. Among them, an 8-year-old, 1.2-meter-long red and white koi female from Suzhou was sold by a mysterious buyer at a price of 5.2 million, and it broke the highest transaction price of China's koi. When he saw this, Liu Qing couldn't help but exclaimed, I'm going, a koi sells for such an expensive price. Are the people who bought it crazy? The money in the family is burning panic. Tukao returned to Tukao. Lu Qing then continued to look down, but the more he looked down, the more unstoppable a thought appeared in Lu Qing's mind. Would you like to buy a few koi and try them yourself? After all, there is room for you, so maybe the koi that you feed can be sold for sky-high prices. Yes, I'll go buy it tomorrow. Seeing that her precious daughter Lu Xin is about to leave school, Lu Qing can only decide to buy it tomorrow. Then Lu Qing put away the phone, opened the door and got out of the car, walked to the gate of the kindergarten, and waited for her daughter to come out of school. At 5 o'clock, the children were brought out on time by the teacher, while Lu Qing stood at the door and looked in, and soon saw his daughter Lu Xin who was walking in front. Baba, Lu Xin also saw Lu Qing waiting at the gate. When the gate opened, Lu Xin ran out quickly, hugging Lu Qing's thigh and shouting with joy. Good girl, Lu Qing touched Lu Xin's head with a smile on his face and said, Did you listen to the teacher in kindergarten today? Of course there is, Baba. Lu Xin listened to Lu Qing's question, and Xiaolian answered very seriously, Xingxin is an obedient and good baby. Ha ha, seeing Lu Xin's serious expression, Lu Qing laughed and said, Just be obedient, let's go, Xingxin, let's go home. Immediately, Lu Qing took Lu Xin's hand and walked to the parking spot, and then the father and daughter drove home. Xin Xin, when he got home, Lu Qing asked, Did the teacher give you homework today? Yes, Baba. Lu Xin blinked his smart eyes, and answered crisply, The teacher asked us to write a character today. Okay, 
then do your homework obediently, Baba went to go to dinner. Lu Ching arranged it. After talking, Lu Ching came to the kitchen and started to cook dinner. After all, the income from selling ginseng was nearly 2 million yuan today. Lu Ching planned to make a few more dishes for dinner to celebrate. Lu Ching first scooped two bowls of rice from the rice jar, washed it, put it in the rice cooker, and cooked the rice. Then Lu Ching took out a piece of pork belly from the refrigerator, put it in a pot, poured water, cut a few slices of ginger into it, and turned on the fire to cook together. Then, Lu Ching thought about it and entered the space. Because Lu Ching was going to fry green pepper twice cooked pork, but the meat was there, but the green pepper was not there, so Lu Ching went into the portable space to pick it up. In the space, that piece of ginseng remained the same as before, while the one acre of watermelon field where the seeds were sown had already grown green seedlings. The vegetable seeds next to the watermelon field also all took root and sprouted, with a height of 7 or 8 centimeters, but Lu Ching couldn't wait any longer. Boom! When the vegetable seedlings that were 7 or 8 centimeters tall came into contact with this pool of water, they instantly grew like crazy, and in just a few breaths, several kinds of vegetables blossomed and grew up. Okay, of course, the branches are covered with large green peppers, bright red tomatoes, and on the vines, slender green cucumbers, small pumpkins the size of fists, and white radishes with the thickness of a baby's arm in the ground, Lu Ching stopped watering and pick. Five kinds of vegetables were filled into a pot, and Lu Ching left the space. With these five kinds of vegetables, Lu Ching's cooking speed has obviously accelerated a lot. After a while, a dish of green peppers, a dish of fried shredded pumpkin, a salad of cucumbers, and a tomato omelet soup were ready. Wow, Baba, the dishes you cooked today are really delicious. At the dinner table, Lu Xin, who had finished her homework, sighed, smelling the aroma of the vegetables in the air. Ha ha, incense, just eat more. Lu Qing smiled and said, let's have dinner, Xin. Immediately, Lu Qing and Lu Xin came with chopsticks. Wow, this cucumber is really delicious, Baba. Lu Xin ate a piece of cucumber first, and immediately exclaimed in admiration. And Lu Ching couldn't stop after taking one bite and continued to take the second bite. The little girl saw that Lu Ching didn't speak, but kept eating vegetables, and the speed of eating vegetables couldn't help speeding up a bit. Like the wind and clouds, Lu Ching and Lu Xin's father ate a few dishes cleanly. Baba, this dish is really delicious. Finally, Lu Xin, who was full of food, touched his stomach and said. And Lu Ching on the side was not much better because he only felt that the dish was so delicious that his tongue was almost eaten. It's really delicious. Although he knew that the vegetables grown in the space would definitely taste the same, Lu Qing had no idea that it would be so delicious. If you want to eat and sell it, then it's not crazy to sell it. Lu Qing thought while rubbing his stomach. But then Lu Qing shook his head. I don't have time to sell it all. Because selling watermelons takes up most of his time, unless he asks people to sell them together, but others, Lu Qing, can't believe it. After thinking about it, Lu Qing decided to talk about it later. Who, wash the dishes. After eating and drinking, Lu Qing was lazy and didn't want to move at all, and his daughter Lu Xin also looked lazy and rested for a few minutes before Lu Qing got up, packed up the tableware, took it into the kitchen, and cleaned it up. Xin, let's go, let's go for a walk and digest. A few minutes later, Lu Qing, who had cleaned the tableware and chopsticks, walked out of the kitchen and faced Lu Zindao. After all, it is impossible to go to bed immediately after eating and drinking, and Lu Qing checked the time, it is only before 7 o'clock in the evening, just in time to go out for a walk, take a walk, digest and digest. Go, go, Baba. As soon as I heard it, I could go out to play, and Lu Xin, who was originally lazy, seemed to be suddenly full of electricity, and said with high spirits. I said why are you so excited when you hear about playing? Lu Qing couldn't understand why the children were so excited when they heard that they were playing. Afterwards, Lu Qing and Lu Xin's father and daughter opened the door and went downstairs. The place where Lu Qing and Lu Xin took a walk was actually not far. It took about 15 minutes to walk to the man-made park next to it. Don't run away, Xin. After going downstairs and walking out of the gate of the community, Lu Qing reminded that, after all, there are many people and cars on the road outside, and Lu Qing is afraid of any accident. Yeah, Lu Qing nodded obediently and replied. 
In this way, the father and daughter walked in tandem. I haven't felt so relaxed in a long time. Looking at the pedestrians coming and going in the endless traffic on the road, Lu Qing said with emotion, after all, being a takeaway rider, people are always tense every day. Baba, Baba. At this moment, Lu Xin, who was walking in front, suddenly stopped, grabbed Lu Qing's trouser legs, and pointed, look at that dog. Why is it lying on the ground motionless? Hearing Lu Xin's cry, Lu Qing stopped, and then followed the direction of Lu Xin's finger, and saw not far ahead, a scrawny dog with black and white hair was lying on the ground, motionless. In front of the dog, a red Volkswagen brand car was flashing double flash, and the driver was standing in front of the car door, making a phone call anxiously. Seeing this scene, Lu Qing probably knew what was going on. It should be the driver who killed the big dog crossing the road. He didn't know what to do, so he was calling for help. Immediately, Lu Qing touched Lu Xin's head and replied, Be kind, this dog must have been hit by a car, so he was lying on the ground. Then why didn't anyone save it? Baba, Lu Xin listened and continued to ask, The dog is so pitiful. That dog is Lu Lang's dog. It has no owner, and no one cares if it is killed. At this moment, an uncle who had just returned from a walk in the park interjected. Recently, I often see this dog cross the road with food in its mouth and run to the park. It should be used to feed the puppy, but now the big dog is dead, and no one knows where the puppy is. Can't live anymore. Hey, it's really a pity. After that, he shook his head, and the uncle walked away with his hands behind his back. Yeah, after listening, Lu Qing nodded, it's really a pity for the son of a fool. Of course, Lu Qing didn't have too much sympathy. After listening, he went to find the son of an idiot. After all, the house he lived in was still rented, and the house was so small. It was one thing for the landlord and aunt to disagree, and Lu Qing didn't have time to feed him. Another problem is that no one knows where the dog kennel is. Generally speaking, Lu Lang dogs are very vigilant and careful, so Lu Qing treats this as an episode. And Lu Xin, who was beside him, maybe because he was too young, after listening to it, he seemed to understand and blinked his bright eyes. Let's go, Shinxin, let's keep walking, the park is ahead. After this episode, Lu Qing gently touched Lu Xin's words. Yeah, Lu Xin nodded. Immediately, the two father and daughter continued to walk towards the park, and at this time the night gradually fell. After a few minutes, Lu Qing and Lu Xin's father and daughter came to the park. Baba, we're here. After arriving at the park, Lu Xin said happily. Immediately, Lu Xin was like a wild horse running wild in the park. Although the park is not as crowded with cars and pedestrians as it is outside, after all, in the midsummer season, many people come to the park to take a walk in the shade. Lu Qing was worried that Lu Xin would run away without a door, so he quickly stopped her from behind. Xin Xin, don't run, stop quickly, what if you bump into someone else? Okay, of course, Lu Xin was still very obedient. Hearing Lu Qing's shout, he immediately stopped, but his face was a little frustrated. Seeing Lu Xin's expression, Lu Qing didn't get used to her, and walked on her own. After 10 minutes, Lu Qing, who had walked most of the way, saw that the sky was completely dark and the street lights were on, and said, let's go, Xin, it's time for us to walk back slowly. Quote. Yeah, Lu Xin nodded and followed Lu Qing. Baba, did you hear anything? At this moment, Lu Xin suddenly heard a faint, very small howl. No, Lu Qing was stunned after hearing Lu Xin's words, then turned his ear to listen carefully, but did not hear any sound, and replied. At this time, as the night came, there were more and more mosquitoes. Lu Qing looked at the mosquitoes flying all over the sky and said, Let's go, Xin, if we don't go, our father and daughter will feed the mosquitoes here. Lu Xin listened but didn't move. Instead, she turned her ears sideways and listened carefully. Suddenly, she heard the voice again, and said in surprise, Baba, I heard it again, something is really screaming. It's inside. Lu Xin listened carefully and found that the voice was coming from the woods beside him, so he hurriedly followed the voice and ran in. Xin, don't go in. Just as he was about to hear what the sound was, Lu Qing shouted loudly when he saw Lu Xin running into the woods in an instant. After all, it was pitch dark and overgrown with weeds. What should I do if I stumbled and got bitten by a snake? Anyway, I was just frightening myself. 
Lu Qing's heart suddenly became worried, and she quickly followed. Lu Xin's speed was very fast, and although Lu Qing was an adult, there were many trees in the park. Lu Qing had to run while sweeping away the branches that were blocking the road, so he could only helplessly follow behind Lu Xin and said, Don't go in. Now, Xin, come back soon. And Lu Xin, as if he didn't hear it, was still running inside. Three minutes later, Baba, Baba, below the mountain, in an abandoned drainage pipe buried in the soil, Lu Xin saw two little milk dogs snuggling together in the moonlight. Come on, there are two puppies in here, and that's what makes the sound. And the more they looked, the happier Lu Xin became but the two little milk dogs were a little scared of the sudden appearance of Lu Xin, a stranger, so they made a whining warning sound. There really is a little milk dog. Following Lu Qing running all the way, seeing Lu Xin unscathed, he immediately felt relieved, and then bent over to look, and found that there were indeed two little milk dogs in the pipeline. After reading it, Lu Qing stood up straight and said, Okay, Xin, you found this dog, and read it, let's go back. Having said that, Lu Qing walked out, and while walking Lu Qing warned, Xin, let me tell you, you can't run away like this in the future, otherwise, Ba Ba will be angry, eh? Hearing that there was no movement behind, Lu Qing quickly turned to look. I saw Lu Xin standing there motionless, with two little hands intertwined, looked at Lu Qing pitifully and said, Ba Ba, can we adopt them? Adopt them, Lu Qing couldn't understand a little. Well, just adopt them, Lu Xin replied. You shouldn't be talking about adopting these two puppies, right? Immediately, Lu Qing understood what Lu Xin meant by adoption. Yes, Ba Ba, can we adopt them? Lu Xin nodded and said, They are so pitiful. No, Lu Qing refused without thinking. After all, the house they live in is so small, there is no extra space for them to move around, and it is still rented, so the owner's consent is required to keep a dog. Of course, more importantly, Lu Qing has no time. After all, she has to go out to sell watermelons every day, and it is impossible for Lu Xin to feed them. She is still a child herself. So Lu Qing refused without hesitation. Ba Ba. Seeing Lu Qing's righteous refusal, Lu Xin's eyes filled with tears and said, Let's adopt them. You see, they won't eat here, they will starve to death. Hey, how do you know they didn't eat? Lu Qing wanted to pretend to be hard-hearted, but when he heard what Lu Xin said, he was a little happy. Because there are no big dogs here. Lu Xin's little face replied seriously. If there are no big dogs to feed them, they will starve to death. Maybe the big dogs go out to find food for them. Lu Qing said, when we find food, the big dogs will come back to feed them, so let's go, Xin. Anyway, Lu Qing is unwilling to keep these two puppies. Ba Ba. Lu Xin heard what Lu Qing said, she didn't know how to answer, she was a little anxious. After all, he is a child, and his head turns as fast as an adult. Woo! At this moment, the humming of two puppies came from the pipeline in front of him. Ba Ba, listen, these two dogs are barking with hunger. When Lu Xin heard this voice, she said anxiously. It's really weird. Lu Qing also felt a little puzzled when he heard the sound of Woo Woo. It stands to reason that the puppy is hungry and barking, and the big dog should be back. After all, she and Lu Xin have been here for nearly 10 minutes. Ba Ba, let's adopt them. Listening to the puppy's continuous whining, Lu Xin begged and was about to cry. Don't cry. Seeing that her daughter was about to cry, Lu Qing hurriedly said, let Ba Ba look at it again. Having said that, Lu Qing bent down and checked it carefully, but it was too dark in the pipe, and only two puppies could be seen vaguely. After all, he couldn't see clearly. Lu Qing immediately took out his mobile phone, turned on the flashlight, and looked inside. At this time, Lu Qing could see clearly. He saw two puppies, one black and one white, leaning against each other, facing the sudden light coming in. The bright light, the two little guys were a little scared, screamed and fled backwards frantically, but the back was blocked long ago. Ha, huh, why does it feel so familiar? Looking at Lu Qing, it felt a little familiar, and then suddenly remembered that the fur of these two puppies was very similar to the fool that was hit and killed on the road just now. Then, Lu Qing remembered what the passerby said just now, that the fool often went to the park with food to feed her puppies. It can't be such a coincidence. Thinking of this, Lu Qing thought to himself, could this be the big dog's den? Are these two puppies the cubs it gave birth to? It should be like this. 
Liu Qing finally affirmed. Baba, how are you watching? Seeing Liu Qing froze there, Liu Xin hurriedly reminded. Okay, okay. Hearing Liu Xin's cry, Liu Qing responded. Then can we adopt them? Liu Xin asked. Liu Qing thought for a moment and replied, it should be possible. If the big dog was still there, Liu Qing would not agree to anything, but now that there are no big dogs, if the two puppies were left alone, they would have to starve to death in the end. Liu Qing couldn't do it. So just agree. Really, Liu Xin's eyes lit up when he heard it, and he couldn't believe it. Liu Qing nodded heavily. Really? Yeah, Baba, that's great. Seeing Liu Qing's affirmative answer, Liu Xin cheered. Saying that, Liu Xin was about to climb in and carry the two puppies out. What are you doing? Seeing this, Liu Qing quickly stopped her. I'll take the dog out, Baba. Liu Xin said anxiously, listen, they are still barking, so pitiful. Then you stand still, I'll hug. Upon hearing this, Liu Qing instructed. Just kidding, how could Liu Qing let Liu Xin go in? After speaking, Liu Qing lay on the ground, took a deep breath at the mouth of the pipe, and then climbed in. No way, don't hold your breath, Liu Qing is afraid that her dinner will be spit out, and the sewer pipe is only so high, it is impossible to bend or hunched, so she can only climb in. He weighed his body with his hands and pressed his back against the top of the pipe. Liu Qing tried his best to crawl into it, mainly because it was the dog's kennel. There were bones and puppy excrement everywhere. Liu Qing didn't want to use his hands. Get these things on. A minute later, Liu Qing finally came to the innermost part of the pipe. The two puppies who had no way out seemed to be very frightened that Liu Qing could come in. They whined and warned Liu Qing. Liu Qing saw the two filthy, smelly, skinny puppies in front of him. He grabbed the skin on their backs with his right hand, no matter how they screamed and swayed, and then put his left hand on the ground. Step back step by step. Whoosh. After another minute or so, Lu Qing, who was sweating profusely, finally withdrew with the two puppies, panting heavily. Wow, Xiaobai and Xiaohei are so cute, Baba. Seeing Lu Qing bringing out the two puppies, Lu Xin said with joy. Xiaobai, Xiaohei, Lu Qing, who had been breathing smoothly, was a little puzzled. Yes, Baba, you see it's white, it's Xiaobai, and it's black, it's Xiaohei. Lu Xin pointed at the two puppies in Lu Qing's hands, one black and the other white. When Lu Qing heard this, her head was full of black lines. Baba, can I hug Xiaobai and Xiaohei? Lu Xin looked at Lu Qing and asked. No, Lu Qing refused. Look at them, they are dirty and smelly, and there may be other bacteria on them. We can wait until Baba go to the pet hospital for inspection and cleaning tomorrow. Okay. When Lu Xin heard this, she was a little frustrated, but when she thought that she would be able to touch them tomorrow, Xiaolian instantly became happy again, let's go, Xiao Bai, Xiao Hei, let's go home. Then Lu Qing left the park with Lu Xin with a puppy in hand. As for the big dog, on the way back, Lu Qing saw the place where it was hit, and it has disappeared. I think it must have been taken and buried. Xiao Bai, Xiao Hei, we are home. When he got home, Lu Qing hurriedly found a cardboard box, put the two little guys in it, and then dodged into the bathroom to take a shower, while Lu Xin squatted in front of the box with big bright eyes, looking at the two little guys inside. Puppy, full of joy. Baba, Baba, look at Xiaobai and Xiaohei, those with shriveled stomachs must be starving. Let's get them something to eat. A few minutes later, Lu Qing finished taking a shower, and Lu Xin saw him come out said later. Lu Qing looked at it and found that the two little guys were indeed malnourished and thin, and said, okay, I'll go get them something to eat now. Afterwards, Lu Qing came to the kitchen, took out a large bowl, scooped a full bowl of rice from the rice cooker, then took out the oily soup leftover from the double-cooked pork from the refrigerator, poured it into the rice, and stirred it. Just put it in front of the two puppies. Eat, Lu Qing said as he looked at the two puppies huddled together in the corner of the box. Lu Xin, who was beside him, also opened his eyes wide and watched motionlessly. At this moment, inside the box, the two puppies curled up together seemed to smell the oily smell of the rice bowl in front of them, sniffed their noses, and then, bolder and a little white, took the lead to walk to the rice bowl, some vigilantly smelled it, and when he saw that there was no problem, he began to gulp. And Xiao Hei, who was behind Xiao Bai, 
saw that his brother was eating deliciously there, and followed the taste slowly to the front of the bowl, and started eating. Seeing this scene, Lu Xin was pleasantly surprised. Baba, Baba, look, Xiaobai and Xiaohe have started to eat. Yeah, Lu Qing nodded because he saw it too. Not only that, Xiaobai and Xiaohe are somewhat protective of their food, making a whining roar while eating. Okay, Xingxin, it's almost time, you should take a shower and go to bed. After seeing Xiaobai and Xiaohe eating normally, Lu Qing checked the time, it was past 10 o'clock in the evening, and immediately said to Lu Xin. Then Lu Xin went to take a bath and sleep. After soothing her daughter to sleep, Lu Qing immediately entered the space with a thought. Seeing that the vegetables were getting old, she hurriedly picked the tender ones and filled a pot before they came out. Putting the vegetables into the kitchen, Lu Qing is also ready to rest. Ha, huh, it's all over. Just as he was about to go to bed, Lu Qing saw that Xiaobai and Xiaohe had finished eating a large bowl of rice in the box, and the bowl was licked clean, and two pairs of small eyes looked at Lu Qing. Pour some water for you. Lu Qing was worried that Xiaobai and Xiaohe were thirsty, so he poured some water from the space pool into their bowls, and then turned off the lights and went to sleep. I said you two were pulling. Lu Qing rubbed his sleepy eyes and looked at Xiaohe and Xiaobai, who were hanging their heads on the grass under their feet, smelling everywhere. After speaking, Lu Qing looked at the just blooming sky, very melancholy. Because it was early five in the morning, and he was in the park where he was walking last night, the reason why Lu Qing came here was completely, forced, by Xiaobai and Xiaohe. It turned out that it was because they were too full last night. Xiaobai and Xiaohe were in the box at four o'clock. Seeing this, Lu Qing could only get up, take Xiaobai and Xiaohe to the bathroom, and wait for them to be convenient. Unfortunately, the two little guys were whimpering in and out, but they couldn't pull them out. In desperation, Lu Qing only can take them outside. That's how this scene happened. Hearing Lu Qing's urging voice, Xiaobai and Xiaohe immediately shook their heads. Yes, after one night, Xiaobai and Xiaohe's skinny bodies gradually became rounder, and their eyes became brighter and more energetic. Of course, what's more important is that Xiaobai and Xiaohe are also full of spirituality due to drinking the space pool water. After waiting for another two minutes, Xiaohe, who smelled and smelled it, seemed to have found a feng shui treasure, squatted down, and pulled it out first, while Xiaobai also found a satisfactory place not far away and pulled it out. Seeing this, Lu Qing said, Okay, Xiaobai, Xiaohe, you two have finished pulling, it's time to go home, let's go. After speaking, Lu Qing raised his legs and left, not at all worried that the two little guys would not follow him. Sure enough, when Xiaobai and Xiaohe saw Lu Qing leaving, they quickly spread their feet, ran up and down, followed, and then passed Lu Qing, shaking their heads and walking ahead. Bringing Xiaobai and Xiaohe back home, Lu Qing looked at the time and saw that it was already early six o'clock. Well, he had planned to take a nap, but it seemed that it would not work. Immediately, Lu Qing made breakfast. Lu Qing thought for a while, and entered the space with a thought, and then took out a large yellow pumpkin from the space. Yes, Lu Qing planned to make a pumpkin porridge for breakfast. Peeling the pumpkin and cutting it into small pieces, and washing the rice, Lu Qing poured them directly into the rice cooker, then added water and boiled it. After waiting for more than 40 minutes, the pumpkin porridge was cooked. As usual, Lu Qing went downstairs to the bun shop outside the community to pick up a basket of buns, and then fried two eggs. This breakfast was considered ready. Then Lu Qing came to Lu Xin's room and asked her to get up to eat. As for Xiaobai and Xiaohe, Lu Qing told these two little guys to stay in the box and not allow them to run around at home. However, at breakfast, at Lu Xin's strong request, Lu Qing put Xiaobai and Xiao Haiyan out of the box. The two little guys just squatted at the dining table, staring at Lu Qing and his daughter for breakfast. Of course, Lu Xin didn't feed them too much. One bun was eaten by himself, and the rest was divided in half and threw to Xiao Bai and Xiao He. Lu Qing saw it and didn't stop him. After one breakfast, most of the buns entered the cage. Inside the belly of Xiao Bai and Xiao He. After breakfast, Lu Qing sent Lu Xin to the kindergarten, and then returned home, ready to take Xiao He and Xiao Bai to the nearest pet hospital for inspection, cleaning and vaccination. Let's go, take you two little guys to the pet hospital first. Lu Qing put the box on the co-pilot, facing Xiao Bai and Xiao He Dao inside. 
Immediately, Lu Qing took out her mobile phone and searched for the nearest pet hospital. After finding it, Lu Qing hurriedly started the car and went there. More than 20 minutes later, Lu Qing drove his car to the door of the pet hospital, parked the car, and opened the door. Lu Qing walked in with a box containing Xiaobai and Xiaohei. Although it was only before 9 o'clock in the morning, when Lu Qing entered the hospital, he found a busy scene inside. After all, it was the first time he entered the pet hospital, and Lu Qing didn't understand anything. Immediately, Lu Qing stopped a nurse and said, Hello, nurse, I'm going to take my little black and white for an examination and who should I call for cleaning and vaccination? Check, the little nurse glanced at Lu Qing who was holding Xiaobai and Xiaohei in the box and said, Come with me, just find Dr. Zhang here. Later, Lu Qing followed the little nurse to a veterinary office. Dr. Zhang, this gentleman wants to check, vaccinate, and clean his dog. After entering the house, the little nurse said to the female doctor sitting in the chair. Hearing this, the female doctor quickly stood up and asked Lu Qing to carry the dog over and put it on the table. Yo, the two little ones in your family are quite fierce. Just as the female doctor wearing leather gloves was preparing to examine, Xiaobai and Xiaohei seemed to have a bad premonition, and suddenly made a whining warning sound and grinned. Xiaobai and Xiaohei are obedient, they will be examined, and they are not allowed to bark. Lu Qing reprimanded upon seeing this. When Xiaobai and Xiaohei heard it, their ears suddenly fell, and then they let the doctor examine them. After checking the whole body carefully, the doctor took off his gloves and said to Lu Qing, I just checked the whole body, the skin, hair and body of the puppy are all right, very healthy, although it is a little thin now, but feed it more it'll be fine in a while. As for vaccination, these two guys are only over two months old, so they can't get vaccinated for the time being. You can take another month. The female doctor said finally. What about cleaning? Lu Qing asked, because the two little guys were still dirty and smelly. The doctor said, you fill out this form first, and I'll ask someone to take them to wash them right away. Then, after simply filling out a form, Lu Qing followed a nurse to another room, but Lu Qing didn't go in, just sat outside the door, waiting for Xiaobai and Xiaohei to come out. Twenty minutes later, ha, huh, unexpectedly, after washing it, the two of you are so radiant. Seeing the clean Xiaobai and Xiaohei's hair clean and shiny, Lu Qing exclaimed. Later, Lu Qing followed the little nurse to the checkout. At the same time as the checkout, at the advice of the little nurse, Lu Qing bought Xiaobai and Xiaohei a collar to wear, as well as two dog leashes and a kennel. As for the dog food, Lu Qing thought about it and didn't buy it. Anyway, what people eat, this little guy just eats it. After paying, Lu Qing left with Xiaobai and Xiaohei. Okay, the two of you have already checked, we should go to the aquatic market. Arriving in the car, Lu Qing faced Xiaobai and Xiaohidao who were the co-pilot. Wang Wang, and Xiaobai and Xiaohei seemed to understand, and Wang Wang shouted twice, agreeing. Seeing this, Lu Qing smiled and said, then let's go. The Magic Capital International Aquatic Products Market Trading Center is located in Wangpu District, backed by the Wangpu River. It is the largest aquatic product trading center in East China. Whether you are swimming in the water or swimming in the sea, you can find it here. The reason why Lu Qing came here is because it is also the largest ornamental fish trading center in Modu. This is what Lu Qing found when he was going to buy koi yesterday. So after Xiaobai and Xiaohei checked their bodies, Lu Qing drove directly here. Arrive, when he saw the huge sign in front of him, Lu Qing, who had driven for an hour, knew that he had finally arrived. Taking a quick glance, Lu Qing found that there was no parking space outside the market, and immediately drove in like other vehicles. It's so big here, Lu Qing drove his car through the various shops and stalls, and he couldn't help sighing when he saw the bustling scene everywhere. Or stop here, afterwards, Lu Qing found a vacant seat and was about to stop the car. Hey, hey, little brother, you can't park here, you park your car at my door, I don't need to do business anymore. Just before Lu Qing's car was parked, a middle-aged man rushed out of the shop next to him and shouted loudly. Upon hearing this, Lu Qing saw that he had just stopped the shop and said apologetically, I'm so sorry, bro, I didn't pay attention, I'll move it right away. It's okay. The middle-aged man saw that Lu Qing was speaking so sincerely, and waved his hand with a smile. 
little brother, I think it's your first time to come to this aquatic product market. Generally, parking is not allowed in front of other shops. If you want to park, drive ahead and you'll have a spot. The middle-aged man pointed to Lu Qing. So it's like this. Lu Qing nodded and thanked. Thank you, big brother. Immediately, Lu Qing drove the car forward. It turns out that there is a dedicated parking spot here. After driving for about three minutes, Lu Qing followed the instructions of the elder brother just now and came to a very small parking lot and found a parking space to park the car. All right, turning off the engine and pulling on the handbrake, Lu Qing turned to look at Xiao Bai and Xiao Hei in the co-pilot's suitcase. We've arrived, I said you two are staying in the car. Or get out of the car and go shopping with me. Visit. After sitting in the car for so long, Xiao Bai and Xiao Hei were a little soft, but when they heard that they could get out of the car, the two little guys' ears perked up and their eyes lit up. Get off. Just kidding. After staying in the car for so long, Xiao Bai and Xiao Hei vomited for a long time. Ha ha, I knew you two little guys wanted to go down. Seeing the expressions of Xiao Bai and Xiao Hei, Lu Qing laughed. Let's go together. Then come down. Lu Qing immediately opened the door and got out of the car, then came to the co-pilot, opened the door, and hugged Xiao Hei and Xiao Bai down. But, I can say it first, Xiao Bai and Xiao Hei. The market is so big, you two are not allowed to run around, just stay by my side, do you hear? Bai and Xiao Hei exhorted. Wong Wong, Wong Wong, Xiao Bai and Xiao Hei fluttered their tails around when they got out of the car, and when they heard Lu Qing's lecture, they came to Lu Qing with their heads and tails again. Let's go then, Lu Qing said with satisfaction when he saw the two soulful guys. Immediately, Lu Qing and Xiao Bai Xiao Hei went shopping. There's plenty of stuff here. Lu Qing strolled through the market and looked at the boxes of salmon, octopus, gooey duck, oyster, conch, crab and other seafood that were displayed in front of the stalls and couldn't help but admire. But as he walked, Lu Qing felt that something was wrong, because he found that all the shops in front of him were selling things from the sea, but not from fresh water. After all, the koi I want to buy belong to the freshwater fish species, but now they are shopping among a bunch of seafood. Isn't it a waste of time? Boss, I want to ask, why do you sell seafood here? Why don't you see one swimming in the fresh water? Lu Qing asked the owner of a nearby shop. After hearing this, the shop owner looked at Lu Qing and said, Little brother, you must be new here. This is area B, all seafood is sold, fresh water is in area A, go straight and turn right, arrive. When Lu Qing heard it, she understood and thanked, thank you, boss. Immediately, Lu Qing called Xiao Bai and Xiao Hei in front of him to go straight to area A. It turned out to be divided, and this should be the fresh water product area. After all, it was the first time that Lu Qing came here, and Lu Qing didn't know much about this aquatic product trading center. After walking for five or six minutes, Lu Qing saw boxes of herring, grass carp, silver carp, mud crab, etc., displayed in the shop in front of him, and knew that he had arrived at freshwater products area. However, after coming to the freshwater product area, Lu Qing did not delay any longer and asked the passerby. Lu Qing took Xiao Bai and Xiao Hei directly to the place where the ornamental fish was traded. These fish are so beautiful, no wonder someone is willing to spend a fortune on them. Looking at the fish tanks on the display rack in front of him, the colorful fishes of different shapes were swimming in them, Lu Qing couldn't help but sigh. As for Xiao Bai and Xiao Hei, after they came here, they spread their hind legs and urinated on the potted flowers that others had placed in front of the store as a backdrop. Lu Qing chose to ignore them after seeing them. That's it. After passing a few shops, Lu Qing stopped in front of a shop with a slogan that sold koi carp, called Goldfish Full House, and walked in. Welcome. Inside the store, behind a desk, the middle-aged boss who was recording inventory saw Lu Qing walk into the store with two puppies, he immediately put down his pen and stood up with a smile on his face to say hello said, Little brother, just look at it, the shop currently sells hundreds of kinds of goldfish, koi, and other tropical ornamental fish. If you like it, you can buy it home and feed it yourself. Yeah, Lu Qing nodded after listening, and directly stated his purpose, Boss, I'm here to buy koi. I don't know what the price is here. Koi, yes, yes, the boss immediately replied. You can rest assured that the price is absolutely fair and affordable. 
Is this a koi? Liu Qing was taken to a fish tank by the boss, and looked at the small fish that were only a few inches long, with some doubts. When the boss heard it, it turned out that Liu Qing in front of him was a rookie, but after all, the customer is God, the boss quickly and patiently explained. Yes, these are all koi, but they are just koi fry, and the fish tank next to them is for feeding. Koi that are more than a year old, I don't know what kind of bro do you plan to choose. Which one should I choose? Lu Qing knows nothing about koi. If he hadn't read the news yesterday that a koi could be auctioned for millions, Lu Qing would not have come to buy it today. Big, small, just as Lu Qing was hesitating, the next door suddenly heard a loud bellowing sound from a loudspeaker, interrupting Lu Qing's train of thought. What's going on? Lu Qing felt a little puzzled when he heard it, and hurriedly went out to check. Arriving at the door of the store, Lu Qing found that the owner of the store next door was selling a red and white female koi fish with a big belly more than half a meter long. However, its condition was not very good. At this moment, the shop owner came to Lu Qing's side and explained, Hey, that koi female fish was photographed by Lao Wang at the koi convention yesterday for 100,000 yuan, and he was going to use it to breed small fish, but Pharaoh's luck is not very good, the oxygen supply machine in the tank where the koi was installed last night was broken, and when I opened the door today, the fish have turned their stomachs. Don't look at Lao Wang selling for 10,000 yuan now, and he jumped off the building to cut the price, but anyone who knows fish won't buy it unless he encounters a fool. Finally, the shop owner shook his head and sighed, this time, Lao Wang has lost blood. Between words, with a little gloating, after all, the two of them are competitors. However, Lu Qing didn't care about this. When he saw the dying red and white koi female fish and thought of the magical pool of water in the portable space, Lu Qing hesitated and then made a decision. Seeing the stunned boss beside him, Lu Qing said, Boss, I bought your fish. Madman. Seeing Lu Qing walking over, the shop owner cursed secretly. It seemed to him that he had already made it clear to Lu Qing that this red and white koi female fish was 100% dead and could not return to the sky. He still went to buy it and send money. This is not stupid, but is completely crazy. Ha ha, someone is really going to take over. Do you think this young man's brain is not good? This fish is already like this, and he went to buy it. Hey, who knows, maybe people are just wayward with money. The people watching the lively around were also talking a lot. Everyone looked at Lu Qing as if they were watching an idiot. However, Lu Qing didn't care so much, and went straight to the crying boss and said, Boss, I bought your red and white koi fish. You, are you going to buy it? The boss opened his eyes wide and couldn't believe it. Because he had already asked all the people around him, customers, etc., and no one was willing to take over, so he found a loudspeaker to test it in the market to see if it could be sold. He didn't expect that someone would actually buy it, which surprised him. Yes, I really want this fish, Lu Qing said with certainty. Hey, little brother, your eyesight is really good. The boss, who had a sad face, saw that Lu Qing was really not joking, his eyes lit up, his face instantly brighter than a chrysanthemum, and he praised him. When Lu Qing heard it, his face was black, how could he feel that this compliment was worse than a curse? Let's go, little brother, let's go in and talk. The shop owner invited. Lu Qing followed him in immediately. Little brother, let me tell you the truth, this red and white should not last long. If you are sure to buy it, I can give you another 1000 yuan cheaper. Of course, if you take it back, you will die. Don't ask me to refund the money, so we have to sign a receipt later. After entering the store, the boss explained and reminded. Lu Qing listened and replied, this is what it should be. Ha ha, little brother, you are such a cheerful person. The boss laughed when he heard this. But I have a request. Lu Qing is not stupid, after all, everyone thinks that this fish is bound to die. Of course, he came to buy it with conditions. Request. The shop owner's smile stopped instantly when he heard it, and he asked nervously, what request? You say. What he was worried about was Lu Qing's bargaining. After all, this kind of fish with a high probability of not living long should be worthless. Actually, my condition is very simple, that is, I bought your red and white koi female fish, and you have to give me three more koi fish. I have to choose this myself. Lu Qing replied slowly. On this condition, 
The boss was relieved when he heard it, as long as he didn't bargain, he could say anything. Yes, on this one condition. Lu Qing nodded in response. That's no problem. The boss nodded and happily agreed. You can choose any of the three koi. Of course, the reason why the boss is so happy is because the koi in his shop are not expensive at all, otherwise he would not have agreed so easily. Immediately, Lu Qing picked them up. In two minutes, Lu Qing picked three koi fish about 30 centimeters in length, while the boss watched and didn't speak. Okay, that's all. After choosing, Lu Qing said to the boss beside him. Okay, then I'll help you put them up. The boss responded when he saw it. Yeah, Lu Qing nodded. Immediately, the boss moved his hands quickly and put the four koi into two plastic bags, then filled them with water, injected oxygen, and finally sealed them. Then pay for it, Lu Qing said to him after seeing the boss pack the four koi. After paying the money, Lu Qing went to the parking lot to drive over, put the koi on it, and greeted the boss before Lu Qing drove away with Xiaobai and Xiaohei. After leaving the aquatic market, Lu Qing drove the car to find a remote and uninhabited trail, drove in, then stopped, and looked around to check. The four koi entered the portable space instantly. This should be able to survive. After entering the space, Lu Qing hurriedly put the four koi carps into the water pool inside the space and observed, especially the red and white koi female fish that turned its stomach and almost had only one breath left. I saw that after the four koi entered the pool water, three small koi swam to the bottom of the pool instantly, while the red and white koi female was still belly up and her mouth was breathing. Wow, in less than a minute, the red and white koi that was originally belly up suddenly swayed its tail, turned over instantly, splashed a large wave of waves, and then swam to the other three koi. Haha, <laughs> okay, seeing this scene, Lu Qing was completely relieved, the red and white koi fish should be fine. Out, immediately, Lu Qing thought about it, exited the space, and continued to drive home. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.